Welcome, everyone, one and all, to the very first episode of Chuckle Week on our very beautiful set here. We're here, baby. That's an Finally, applause. Finally, the mic happened. We're finally chuckling. Um, today, we're starting off our, our wonderful week of, of glory, beauty, love, and friendship with our very special guest, who we have not had on the podcast yet. Not yet. Um, you haven't even done that many podcasts. Shut up. It's Mr. <laughs> William Osman. Hello. And we'd like to thank the sponsor of today's <laughs> podcast. Okay. Not sponsoring the episode. God, bleep that out in post-production. What, they got the whole sandwich theme going on? No, the, the chuckle it, sandwich theme, the, topic, the chuckle yeah. sandwich theme was from Ted's uh, little baby boy choir class or whatever the fuck. <laughs> this is just going to be little an baby boy So choir basically class? Ted, was, <laughs> Ted was big into improv and fun theater. Uh, and so what he did was he had this group called Chuckle Sandwich. Yeah. And uh, he's smirking and he's just like mouth agape. <laughs> like just yeah, taking the, the original abuse. story. And it was a shame it fell apart because Subway poured so much money into Chuckle it. Sandwich is that uh, I was in a high school improv group that was called Chuckle Sandwich, um, and then the group fell apart a couple of years ago. Like they stopped like auditioning they, for it in that high school. They stopped laughing. They stopped laughing. <laughs> the <laughs> chuckles. <laughs> the chuckles slowly faded into the darkness. It was just, just a sandwich. Just a yeah. sandwich. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they all went to work at like fucking Jimmy John's. <laughs> um, and so I was Devoid like, Devoid sandwich. I was like, I love that name. I think it's a really good pun. Charlie likes puns. And I was starting yeah. to. I was. We had we had decided to start a podcast together. Um, and. I, I chose it in part because I really like the name, but also because it kind of connected to your love of puns, which was yeah. where it kind of came from in that. Chuckle sandwich is a pun? Uh, it's knuckle sandwich. Oh. I'd, I think Knuckle that's... sandwich, but chuckle. Yeah. I actually didn't. Oh, you were on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had no idea really? that it was, was a pun on knuckle out, sandwich. Actually. You didn't know that. I had no fucking clue. Yeah, so and the knuckle sandwich sort of ties into that. I just thought it was that. chuckle sandwich. Yeah. I, I, the, the, I didn't I, know. I, no, I is that, no is that really? fucking yeah. clue. You had no idea? I just no it, clue. Yeah, I just thought it was like a cool name. Do you think anyone name. listening actually knows that, that it's, it's like a play on chuckle sandwich? Or have we just been crying out into the void this whole time? Well, I was aware of that. Is that why you guys were like, eh, about the name? Like, No, originally? I knew it was a pun. I mean, it's like, okay, yeah, we do like fast, punchy bits, like knuckle sandwich, chuckle sandwich. Okay, so Schlatt was the only one in the dark He's just got this then. completely blank on his face. I had no idea. You look like a lost little boy at an amusement park right now. Like, you look like you're crying out for your mommy. I'm looking you look for like you haven't had beer. your Subway. Is I haven't had my Subway. <laughs> Listen, we had Subway last night. Oh, funny story. Oh, okay. My first Shit. night yeah, in L.A., yeah. Los so Angeles, all... the city of dreams, my favorite city on the planet. You breathe in the smog. It's it's fantastic, right? I order a little DoorDash. First of all, we get into the Airbnb. Yeah. The TV is, is like one inch small. wide. It's, it's, it's like one inch. It's, it's a ridiculous. one inch TV. The room is very liminal. Scott, we'll throw up, well, Scott will throw up a, a, if you're watching... Audio listeners, sorry about this, but it, Scott, I'll throw up a picture for throw you. Throw up yeah. a TV and make it really small. I Scott. saw the, the coffee table I literally saw on Etsy hours earlier when I was shopping on the plane. Yeah. Okay. The, the couch the couch collapsed. The artwork was <laughs> was way too small. <laughs> yeah, there was no, the couch was collapsed <laughs> yeah, no, already. We, we need to talk about the <laughs> I know, actual yeah. couch first. Is that the couch's fault? Or so your there's fault? like this there's like know. this blue gray, like stained couch in this Airbnb. I so here's the thing. Before we even got like before these guys even got here, Schlatt had maybe a couple days before the the week was like, "Hey guys, can we actually do uh, hotels? Because I've had a really bad experience with Airbnbs." In the Every past. single hours. Airbnb I've ever stayed at has been a fucking shithole. I, yeah, they I definitely. Like, it's six gone. hours before I fly out, and I see that. Yeah, it has kind of gotten worse. I feel like it a little bit. Yeah. And I was like thinking to myself, I was like, I've had I've been to Airbnb right. in the past, but like the most last Airbnb. I went to was in like August of 2020 mm. yeah. so it's it I don't know it things could have gotten a lot worse I'm sure they did but uh, <laughs> but I was just like okay he's being a little he's being a little bit of goody two shoes like he's you know he wants his little hotel he wants his you know his 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 five star foot rub shoes. he wants Fish you know he wants all the shebang yeah um but we get into this hotel and I'm like uh, I'm thinking to myself the moment we get into this this Airbnb I'm like okay I'm not gonna hear the end of this from it's slat. The diva like, himself. He's like, mm -hmm. he sees an ant. 
He's like, ants are in the bathroom. Ants are in the bathroom. There's ants everywhere. There's ants in the bathroom. What house have you ever been in where there wasn't some ants? There is ants Mine? Are, you're, you never have ants? No. Ever. Ants no. are sort of an issue in L.A. That, that's a thing in L.A. I yeah. mean, there's in, some in, ants in the bathroom. I know it was a problem because the house... Didn't come with much, but there was a can of Raid on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's so a, they gave you a solution. They gave me a can of Raid. <laughs> that's a bit indicative of more of an of Airbnb a and, yeah. sort of colony experience. And, right. than, you know than how they will send you a co-op. Yeah, exactly. They'll send you a message before you go in there, like, "Here's what you need to know," and then they're like, "You'll see that we put extra care into the upkeep of this apartment." And it's a fucking can of Raid on the table. The they give you a discount you of like in. one penny for each ant you kill. The, the count. The the drawers are falling off. Yeah. The the fridge is not connected to the water. One of the funniest things was when Charlie and I, when we first, I think um, it's fine. I when mean... we first walked into the uh, Airbnb, <laughs> we went around and we tested all of the beds. You remember that? And we were like, Oh, oh that was right too, because yeah, I, I spent so much time trying to pick out a nice bedroom, right? And I right. finally got one. I was like moving my bags around while they were scouting because yeah. I wanted to be the one to actually get one. It's um, like the classic, like, fan, like if you've ever been on a family vacation, that's like that. You like, we all somehow, it's a, like, Shlai was moving a little slow. He was just going to do whatever. But, but Charlie and I kind of like knew the family <laughs> vacation score where it's like whoever finds yeah, the it's, first it's room. Dibs. It's Dibs rules. Yeah. Uh, and then I put my hand on the bed and just immediately feel the, the sharp metal coil of the springs beneath. Yeah, and we Which, were like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, no, we went, around, we ran around the whole thing too. I remember we were like, no, <laughs> we're like, and th the next bed couldn't be the same way. No, and then, and then you walk out of the bedroom, right? You walk out of the bedroom, you go down the hallway to the next one, and on the on the wall is a piece of printer paper with clip art that they found on on Microsoft oh. Word <laughs> with just like yeah. yellow smiley faces like this. Shh. Mm -hmm. Quiet down. Quiet <laughs> hour is 10 p.m. to, to 8 a.m. Like a clip the, art child a, looking around the corner. Yes, so there's one there's one piece of paper that has the quiet hour time and then the other piece of paper is just clip art Laminated clip art with just random images of people like this. So Shh. Ian, uh, So here's the thing Ian hasn't so Ian yeah, our, the our story manager started Ian, with, who, with, uh, who, who Booked the Airbnb yeah. in the first place has never heard about any of these complaints But we have them on microphone right now Ian, what so do you have Ian, to say for yeah, yourself? Ian, what do you feel about this? I, I was worried when I heard nothing about it like you guys went to the Airbnb and then there was zero communication until this morning. <laughs> oh, I, I've been communicating. I just don't think anybody's been relaying it over to you. Well, yeah, because it's like you just you just, just say shouting. things and they just <laughs> shout into the world and it's just like okay, someone's gonna hear them and he's just he just wants to be heard. That, I just put things. He doesn't out want there. a solution. Yeah. He just I wants to be heard. I don't want solutions. I just want to be angry. You just well, want yeah. something that you. Okay, can Airbnb put. sucks. But Which what is, were you talking about before? You were talking about you ordered food. Oh, yes. Yeah. So you, I was. You guys, you guys I was can't feeling, even stay on a conversation. So I was so mad. At you are our guest. I, I, listen, you are our guest. I'm the, I'm the listen, podcast listen, regulator, buddy, buddy. So William, you're, you're the, the guest, guest here. You have no you right to tell to us. us <laughs> that's <laughs> the point here. We don't. Oh, I'm here, here to listen to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go, go. Yeah, the live audience. We know you well, so it's like I mean, what what else are we gonna learn? And so listen to this story. You seem parched. Take a drink. Take a drink. Take a long drink. We just have to go ahead now. This is the first episode of the week. Before he's done. So we just have to we just have to say some things about our current. Last few days before uh, before we start chatting with William about Ugh. whatever the fuck he's got going. Yeah, and so I'm gonna continue. <laughs> I'm gonna continue my story, William. And when I'm done with it, I want you to laugh. I do, you um, bet I'm gonna laugh. That's what we said. Once the cameras looking, turn on, we just start laughing. For a couple laughs. I mean, so what did we order? <laughs> what food did we, we order? Got, Panda we got, Express. We got Panda, Panda Express. Express. Yeah, yeah, we got the Panda. Yeah, and we went through this whole rigmarole of picking. Ordeal. It was an ordeal. I hadn't slept in like nine hours or something, and I yeah. I just woke up from a nap to you like trying to get into my room. Um, I remember this vividly. You're making it sound like I was trying to break in. Yeah, so I, I yeah, so I hear this. In. I see a little bit of an axe go through a door, and so I run over. I throw some clothes on. And I come out. Uh, he's you got fury in your eyes. Head with a baseball bat. Pushes me down yep. the stairs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I get up. My bottom. Had a knee you know, breaker burger right in my hand. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, there went my kneecaps, and I get up, and you're like. You're telling me about how I need like three sides and three entrees, well, and I'm well, like, I just want the rice. And you're like, you need three. Like you have how it to works. get three. He didn't understand. He no, didn't understand. I, I was so the confused. way the plates work at Panda Express. If you'll let me fucking explain them, 
Which you didn't. You were just like, it didn't make huh, sense. I was really, huh, I don't get it. I'll admit you had I felt like I was just bored. You had three entrees. I felt like I was just bored. You had three entrees and two sides. And I just wanted chicken. And you have to chicken. select, and like, you just, just want, want chicken, chicken, then you have to select chicken. three it's chicken. It's not enough, and it won't You go have through. to do one, two, just three one on the chicken. same thing. And you just didn't but get it. I want one You didn't chicken, understand. So it doesn't need How do you just want one chicken? You asked for the bigger plate. And then it wasn't enough either, because there's still the sides. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you know what? Two of the same fucking sides. And then I did. But then I did. And guess what? Boys. And guess what? Yeah. And guess what? Boys. It never fucking Please. came. It never showed up. Please. Mm-hmm. All right. One at a time. Breathe out. Everyone, let's get some breaths here, all right? Okay, right so mic. you breathe in. Everyone breathe in. And then take one sip after you, at the top sip? of your breath. So you go. I'll take a little. I'll take a little sip. Very nice. You know the problem with three entrees is they give you that stupid little side container for it. Well, we wouldn't you know. You know, we wouldn't know because our fucking DoorDasher, Katie, <laughs> yeah. just went home with it. And she's watching this. I got the I got the notification, Katie, from DoorDash. They saying, took your food. They took saying it. saying it. hello, Katie is on her way. Not. And, and an hour later, we were watching Terminator One. Mm-hmm. You finished first it? first no. couple seconds of Terminator One. You see Arnold Schwarzenegger's big, fat, juicy <laughs> cock as he teleports. <laughs> they don't, from the you don't of see it at all. You see it swinging in the wind yeah, before, you you see that. before yeah. he fucks up that that goth punk with the yeah. blue hair. Oh. What? <laughs> You're I gotta about say, his Chinese ass food is like it's He's like nice sleek. Ass. It's yeah. like a shining diamond. It is. It is. That was before. Ex- like it is extraordinary. It's not computer like, graphics either. I, I know. Have done it Arnold it's real. It's a real ass. Ass. He was. He's walking towards the guys on the telescope, and you can see his cock. Am I really? the only one that that noticed? I guess I, never I mean, really. I, I guess never I just really looked that up. There was one I scene where you could see. That wasn't even the focus of the frame. So I mean, it was. Wasn't even the focus, I mean, but it, my eyes went there. <laughs> Ian, um, can you just go ahead and pull up uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's cock just super, super fast? One, uh, Ian, <laughs> there it is. Let's yeah. Real it quick, screen. just yeah. a quick photo. See the of the issue Arnold is that Schwarzen- Schwarzen- oh, there it is. You... Wow. Whoa. Wow, I didn't think you were Jeez. right. There it is. Yeah, right there. there. Is no, big. thank you, Ian. Yeah, you want me to keep zooming William, in on it? Right above you. Can you zoom in a little bit? Oh God, I didn't even see it. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna scroll down. I think his ass is nice. So, William Osmond, uh, welcome to the podcast. You, you, Our first you question didn't for you. Finish your story at all. <laughs> Our first question for you is: What would you do with that thing? We're not like I'd give. I'd, I'd, I'd compliment it. You're going to compliment it. Well, hang on, guys. What's what? What part of the sandwich, William? Are you? That's the bologna, the cheap, the cheap meat. So we have some more meat. I'm actually a little bit of meat myself. I yeah. didn't think we'd be running into this issue this early. Okay, well, what do you need me to be? Cheese? What do you... Grilled onions? I We could Ooh, use a little grilled onions. onions. I don't like grilled onions. <gasps> no, I don't like grilled Are you onions. Are you going to no. cry about it? What about raw onions? I love grilled onions. Can we get a couple of each, maybe? Yeah. What's your... Light okay, so if you had to choose a place <laughs> to get a burger from, or oh, a this sandwich... Oh, this is going to be a fight. Guys, right? you were talking like about grilled. the onions, and now he's... You said grilled onions, and I was just like, oh, why would you... <laughs> I just know what happened. Well, I was just thinking that when I think of grilled onions, I think of Five Guys. Ted, stop. Stop, man. Stop, man. William, go ahead. I'm I'm afraid to talk about onions now. (laughs) You guys are like a married couple right now. It really is. It honestly (laughs) is so juicy, though. Seriously, if we can just pull up his fat ass again. Just one more time. Look at that juicy. Damn, real quick. Full of seminal fluids. Yeah, I'll zoom (laughs) in for it. Oh, nice! Wow, that's what I okay. do to suck them hey, up like that's, a fucking uh, that's three back entrees in boy right toy there. Frank Ocean DHL. What? <laughs> You're just saying brands now. DHL's a shipping company, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Frank Ocean DHL big big FedEx big, USPS big hot Subway Frank's hot sauce. <laughs> right on Arnold Schwarzenegger's tip. I like In and Out Burger. <laughs> <laughs> what an awesome segue! <laughs> I, I feel like this is such almost like a violent conversation online too yeah. about hamburgers. Like I don't think I've. The, <laughs> there's only one topic I think I yeah, see is, like Reddit get mad about more than hamburgers is about In and Out versus any other burger ever. Yeah. Well, I mean, are you like a really big In and Out guy? I do. Okay. Do you know that In and Out is like the same price, if not cheaper, than McDonald's? Their I whole thing, their whole thing is being cheap, right? Is that their whole? Yeah. Their whole thing is bit? being is so cheap and fast and strangely customizable. Yeah, it's not though, is it? It's pretty streamlined. It's streamlined if you don't 
if you've never been there before, but then you can just start saying words to them. You can yeah. say, hey, can I get a... DHL Ar- hey, Arnold Schwarzenegger's cock. <laughs> hey, can I get a 4x4 uh, a four four animal style... Can I get Arnold by 7 I can, You can get an animal style protein style. Do you even know what that means? Code black. It means it, it means they take all the all the greasy shit from the from the grill. They throw it on there. They put some extra sauce in there, and then instead of a bun, they put it in between lettuce rolls. I thought lettuce it was just rolls. it's just they a lettuce. Replace the roll. Yeah, I've seen that. Like the lettuce style. bun. Thing. Animal style is like the animal style. Make shit. it cock ass. And yeah. then uh, you double act, double Chelsea trippy basy in deluxe. <laughs> but, <laughs> but well, hold on. Do you, do you want an actual answer? Here's the thing about the hey. the um protein yeah, I'll take a party rock and burger. Here's the thing about the protein style, Charlie, okay. and I think that you would really like this I've because you're a little bit I've of the. I've substituted uh, uh, the bun for like lettuce. Before. Oh, okay, so you know you've you substituted the bun for lettuce. Yeah, well, it's that's an option. Have you tried right? this before? For a reason. No, it's protein it's style. It's surprisingly good I, because when you bite into it, you're not getting all of the flavors messed up with that starchy bun. Now you're getting all the meat, all the cheese. Yeah. All of the other condiments that you put on there, maybe put some chilies on there. Maybe a couple of onions. Like, maybe sorry, a couple onions. Like three, maybe a couple grilled onions. Are, are all three of you in support of replacing the bun with lettuce? Okay, well, so here's what I'll say. Time. Here's what I'll I mean, say. Don't get me wrong. I like a grilled bun. I and think what's this? And what is this called? Yeah. This is called protein. protein style. Protein style. Protein style. They just call it. They call it that because it cuts out the, like the carbs. It's, it's it like is protein. a replacement at the end of the day, right? I mean, yeah. a bread, burger. Bread burger is going to be the buns. I mean, at the end of the day, a burger is a burger, yeah. and like you can't re- really, truly replace a burger. But what you can get is another experience. What yeah. would we be if we were just chuckle wrap, right? Right. Where would we be? Would we be here? The bottom. I don't. Rock think. We'd bottom. be at the bottom, the bottom. of the ocean. Yeah. Maybe Li- living in a dumpster. The bottom of the bread. Living in a dumpster at the bottom of the ocean. Well, I would be the guy that Arnold Schwarzenegger killed with his dick out in Terminator. <laughs> so that would be me. And his ass. And, and his and ass. And his ass out. Like, Both swinging. Yep. His ass. Here's the thing swinging. about Arnold. <laughs> it's all swinging, man. Here's the thing about Arnold. I bet he has like a a, a strong ass cock. Oh, okay. Strong. Well, you, you like don't know that. Open... Don't no. Don't cut him off. But Let it seems continue. like he might. He, like he could open a he bottle of like beer a, with it. He's, like, yeah, like something like that, where he's like he could do some sort of trick. Like maybe he could like put a, a coin prehensile. On it and like, like he could yeah, flip yeah. a coin. Like a like an elephant. Oh, like a trunk. Oh yeah. yeah. The, I I I mean I feel you like think most. You could flip a coin with your cock. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're about to say? Like I have, I have say. coins. Ian, can right we get now. a graphic of a coin I'm gonna, up? I'm gonna invent something. Yep, we're, we're gonna, gonna we're gonna interact something? with it here in a second. Here is a coin. <laughs> just, just yeah, put. I like make a little sound for yeah, it. Just do it under the just, table. Like, yeah, just do yeah. it under the table, and they won't tell. Be good. Whether or not I mean, I'm right next. I'll know, but come on, just take a sip of that, and we'll move on. Okay. Did you know that two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time that they're 35? Wow, that's harrowing. That would be a pretty bad thing for you, Schlatt. Yeah. Lucky for those men, there's Keeps. Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. With convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered to your place every three months, you don't even have to leave your home. Nice. And it's a low cost. Treatments start at $10 per month and Keeps offers generic versions. Don't worry, there's discreet packaging and proven results. And Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of their competitors. <laughs> With this stuff, prevention is key. Treatments can take four to six months to see results, so act fast. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, you can go to keeps.com, that's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash chuckle to get your first month of treatment absolutely free. That's keeps.com slash chuckle. Thank you, Keeps, for sponsoring today's episode, and enjoy. Fellas, we deserve to know what we're putting in our body and why, especially when it comes to something we take every day. Ritual's clean, vegan-friendly vitamin is formulated with high-quality nutrients in bioavailable forms that your body can actually use. Don't worry, you won't find sugars, GMOs, synthetic fillers, major allergens, and artificial colorants. Other ants? Who the (laughs) hell are you? And artificial colorants. Ritual is available for women, men, and teens. That's because Ritual multivitamins are developed specifically to support different stages of life. You always know what nutrients you're taking and where they come from, thanks to Ritual's visual supply chain. Can you believe that, Schlatt? No. Me neither. Get key nutrients without all the BS. Right now you can get 10% off three months with a monthly subscription when you go to ritual.com slash chuckle. That's ritual.com slash chuckle. Thanks, Ritual, for sponsoring today's episode, and enjoy. Happy Chuckle Week. 
So, William, you are you went to school for engineering, did yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. For those of you who don't know about William's channel, uh, he does. He's sort of like the misfit in. of YouTube. <laughs> Um, <laughs> like, what's going on? You know, we, I, I mean, I know William very, very well. I consider him one of my very close friends. Um, and he, on his channel, he does these wonderful, stupid videos where oh. he, I think one that comes to mind as of late is that he did a third person hair. Oh, oh wow. Just that was really good. The coin with his wanka. It was like a blur. Um, he, he did a video where you. Where you did third person cutting your hair, but mm. I mean, just talk, I mean, just tell the, the audience who may not know you necessarily about your your channel. What do you do? I, What's we, your... The only way I can describe it is like <laughs> Michael Reeves watched my videos as part of his inspiration for his channel, mm -hmm. and then became bigger than me. So I'm sort of like <laughs> I'm like the the unfinished prototype of Michael. Okay, All the, right. the worst the worst Michael. Gotcha. Yeah. So just like taking. Yeah, and, and every, I wouldn't say no, that. No, 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 that no, no. feels like. Don't a worry. Lead. Don't worry. You're not. Every single comment is like Michael could have done this better. Really? That doesn't mean. Come Damn. On. No, there's Damn. there's more. It's more than just Michael too. There's the yeah, the new guy. The house stuff. No. Stuff made here. There's like crazy. So you're that pulls. you are so you're sort of like just the angry I'm old like man the store of brand. the younger generation. No, 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 I'm the store brand. Science You're panel. like the old neighbor that yells yeah. at the Get off kids my who are skateboarding. Yeah. No. William is Malto Meal. Captain he's Crunch. The, he's the old <laughs> Captain Crunch. <laughs> That's just words, man. And what, That's what they both Michael of their name Reeves, right? How do you and even Michael know Reeves about is what is Kellogg's? What is animal, Malto animal, right. Captain animal right. Your mom only lets you get it like once a year. Hold you on. get the biggest bag. You don't know Malto Meal? In you what get the biggest bag of Malto Meal? Malto Meal? Ian, can you look up? Can you get us a Ian, can you get us a bowl of Malto Meal, please? On it. He's on it right now. It sounds hmm. familiar, but I have no idea it what it sounds is. Malto like, Meal is the big bag it just sounds with the like, knockoff, the oh, knockoff cereal. Like the five pound bag of cereal. Yeah, and, and on that's it. like the brand? It yeah, sounds like and Italian then it'll cereal, to be honest. It, and it'll say like, Malto this is supposed to, this is supposed <laughs> to, com it, on the bag it will be like, this is a, com this is a competitor <laughs> to Captain Crunch. And it's like, yeah, kind of like a sad looking This should taste like Captain Crunch. Technically they are in the same aisle. Yeah, yeah. But. So like the cereal is like a little bit bigger than Captain Crunch yeah, it's a little bit different. It, it, shreds your mouth that, uh... just <laughs> it, it looks like the generic brand, the loose bags of cereal you yeah. would find in the aisle. Okay, yeah. not in yeah. a box. That's just a loose enough. bag of cereal. So that's, a loose bag? Yeah. William, that's, like you're just a Walmart? loose bag, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. How do you yeah. feel? Like, you know, Honestly, okay. man, I I couldn't care less. Really? Yeah, because people are still bag. buying it. So <laughs> That's true. No, I actually, I watched your whole haircut in third person Are you still rocking it, the third person? No, I had to get it fixed at Supercut. Oh, really? It was bad. It was yeah, really I thought it was pretty bad. I, it was like what happened was my arms started getting really tired. Like I used I used really crappy scissors, uh -huh. like uh, safety scissors that they give you in kindergarten, oh, like arts and crafts. Yeah, kind of, yeah. And it just couldn't cut the hair. And so I was sitting there trying and trying and trying, and I just had like way too much hair at that. But I think uh, I probably had maybe as much hair as you have. And oh, you I, want to bet? Damn. A little bit less. Got a whole man thing going on. Top knot. I had a lot of hair. man bun. Not top a, I top didn't knot. Even realize yeah. it was that long. Wait, does that Why? is that actually tied up? Though some of it, can you? I can't get. Can the, you let it down uh, and just kind of like rub it against the mic, maybe? Get down a little. You've bit. got like such a magical combination of. It's good. Yeah, you have nice hair. You have such a magical combination of types of hair, though. Because uh, if, if, if you, if you aim your head, your head all the way down, line. if you just lean your head all the way down, what you've got going on right there is like high school lacrosse player yeah. lettuce in the back. I got and some then, lettuce. And then you got like you got a little bit of lettuce. Got some lettuce. You're gonna, you're adding a little. Oh, we're going oh. protein style. Well, I'm going. Oh protein my style. goodness. <laughs> so I mean, you, where, what's we the used to call there? the girls lacrosse team chicks with sticks. <laughs> I would have, I would have laughed at that. <laughs> yeah, I would have, in middle would, school, we used to call him that. Yeah, that was middle school. with sticks. Nice. Yeah, it was funny. What about? I, I, I okay, suppose no, you can apply that to every the, sport. Yeah, really, you got the stage, go for it. Chicks with balls. <laughs> So William, what's your favorite? Yeah, so, so, what's your yeah, favorite so, video William, you've done? He, what's your favorite? Ah! <laughs> oh, it's all over the <laughs> It's so cold. How did you do that? <laughs> it looks, it looks like I could totally piss myself right now, and you guys no. would have. Oh my god! So oh. wow, damn! I'm just wow. Kidding. And you know what's you know what's incredible? None of this got on the tablecloth or anything. <laughs> it all, it all, yourself and all of this water. Surrendered. I'm not even gonna try. Yeah, all of this water went directly from the cup onto William's ball. You gotta sack. stand up. Awesome, you gotta man. stand up, bro. You gotta show us. You gotta show the camera. You gotta show us. Stand up. Stand up. Let's see it. Let's see it. 
Oh. Oh, oh, oh God. It is oh. Sucked. Hang on. This is what the napkins are for. Oh, wow. The napkins out the, here. There's actually only two in the box. Like that scene, like like that scene from so. Terminator. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Fart in the mic. Come on. Turn around. Right. Give, a, give a full one in. No, you got you to turn around, man. That's so funny. You gotta, the camera's got to see it. The camera's got to see that shit. That's a that part very quickly. Um, I'm, I'm trying to run right oh, shit. <laughs> I've never oh, seen. Uh, so, yeah. I've never. Audio <laughs> listeners, do you hear that ass? Yes. For our audio listeners, love oh. you to death. Uh, w Williams had a bit of a d uh, of a of a bit of a wet shit. situation in the, on his down. Water below. sports oh, going God. on over. Here. It's kind of actually a little bit like so, refreshing. I guess Schlatt's just gonna top you off. I'm gonna top you off. I'm afraid. Schlatt, stop the, the I'll polish table. you off right now. You know, the only reason he's spelling it up is so he can smack the table. I think, we need, I think in the future, let's just position this for, right here. For our lovers at production, I think for the future, we probably should get a sandbag down there. Unless we don't have one down there. Um, but uh, we need the instant replay. Wow, wow, I'm where sorry even, about that, William. From there, no, huh? I feel, I feel like cool. What I mean, were we that talking was about? Pretty funny. I don't know, man. I, don't I mean, know. that was pretty funny. It feels nice, does it? Yeah, it does actually. It it's gonna get, you know, like it's gonna get swampy was, real it was fast. Well, right now, it feels nice. It's convenient Let that us know right when you pissed yourself, right? Right, so I noticed. Um, <laughs> what? So what I was asking before- William just kind of texted us, hey, guys, I pissed myself. <laughs> yeah. you guys, you guys nice of you to give him that save yeah, as yeah. well. I'm gonna call yeah. 911 right now. <laughs> you actually pulled your phone out and started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, uh, but, Ian, can we, can we get 911? Yeah, we'll work um, on, we'll work ask on them pants say we need emergency pants. Cool. Yeah. They'll, they'll know what we're talking William, about. William, I was gonna ask before all that happened, Fran. <laughs> I was gonna ask just what is your favorite? Because I've seen a lot of your videos. One of the ones mm. that sticks out to me, uh, literally, is while well, is the the finger in the windshield one. Oh my god! I don't know why. I Come back to that every once in a did, while, and I'm like, video yeah, you have, so I have no you have idea. Because everyone asks the videos. question. That was that why. was my thought. Was like yeah, like this idea of like you're in you're in a car, your parents are driving, you're like messing around, and when the window starts going up and it's like closed. It's almost like like you get like an adrenaline, like you know, like the kind of squeeze, like the panic, yeah. Like when you're a kid, and so like sure. I was thinking, that's something that might be like deep seated in people's brains. Like and you were right. Question. And like, holy crap! Well, yeah. what are some other things that are like deep? Well, so you actually hit it. I think you, I, and I have a feeling that you were trying to hit that mark again yeah. with the recent video that you did, where um, garbage disposal. It was what happens if you put your like what would happen to your hand if you put yeah. it in a garbage disposal? Yeah. Oh it my on. god! I actually yeah. have a story about that. There was oh, a no. um. Uh oh. Okay, so what? no. The, the answer is bad. <laughs> yeah, it's actually why, uh, audio listeners, why I'm holding this microphone right now with just two big stumps. Um, <laughs> no, there was a. Um, just two big stumps. There was. You put one hand in, and then you were like, no, I don't think I, I, don't think I know what happened. He put and one hand in and tried to fish in. his fingers <laughs> out, but it didn't get out. Oh my God. Um, no, there was an escape room I went to, I think, in Seattle at, at some point, and it was like a horror themed escape no. room. Yeah. Oh, so you no. You know where this oh, is going. Oh, no. And uh, there was a couple things you needed to like crawl under uh like some things i got separated it was like a separate room they made me crawl in and solve a little mini puzzle and i'm good at escape rooms but the there was like keys oh, hidden around one of them was in the drain and there was a switch next to it and so when you turn and you couldn't like see it you could just feel the key and when you turn it on you heard a garbage disposal so it's like mm. the solution was to turn on the garbage disposal and then reach down and get the key and i physically like couldn't I like had such a hard time doing yeah, that, it? I think I like I, stuck like a fork in or something first, just to rough, make sure. Because yeah. that it's I like mean, one of those things too. that scares I mean, me. Like that sound is such a specific sound too. Yeah. Um. Can we get that just playing yeah, over all of Ian, us right yeah. now? Ian, can, can you do us an up? impression real quick of a garbage disposal? <laughs> it, it's like please? a growl like and a that. clang. Ian, yeah, it's like gave me the microphone for a reason, please. Thank you. So that's what a gar you know, like you hear now that. Do you want a, a garbage disposal with a fork in it? <laughs> well, we can, now, we can now, layer. Ian puts his hand into the garbage disposal now. Yeah, so let's get the base garbage disposal going with Ian. Real quick. Okay, you need the fork. That's good. All right, now you stick your hand in it. That's good. That's good. That's the hand being shredded. Sorry about the levels there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. Um, yeah, so that was that was probably my worst, like, because it's one of those that things where it's, well, it was like, it, it was one of those things where ordinarily escape rooms are fine. I know it's a controlled environment, but it's just like, that is such a deep-seated fear. That one actually bothered well, you. Now, here's yeah. a question for you. What if there was an escape room with a non-controlled environment? So... An escape room and a beach. Sort of like a jigsaw. The situation? possibility of drowning exists. Okay, so the ocean is what you're talking about now? Yes. Escape right. the ocean. Okay. Put you in a glass box. Fill it with air. So a trap. 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> an, an, an escape a, room, an uncontrolled escape room is a trap, I think, is what you're saying. Well, I mean, I suppose there's multiple ways you could look at that. Um, okay. It could also be a surprise. And the surprise is that you can't get out. Yes. Okay. Well, I know the surprise now. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! You're in, you're in surprise! You're, surprise! You're in prison. You're gonna, no, like, yeah, awesome. We start with surprise. Ocean jail. But listen, yeah. turtle. If I hear we they start have some cool puzzles surprise, in jail. <laughs> we invented a new jail. It's a box in the ocean. Surely you understand, though. If we start with surprise and then trap comes after, I mean, it doesn't seem as bad. I. What are you talking about? As opposed to trapping someone and okay, then giving them a I've surprise. I've trapped you. Surprise! Surprise! You're trapped. William, if you could trap any one of us, who would it be? All three of you. That's really? really? See, yeah. that's so nice of you. This I mean, in a way, we are kind of trapped in here with yeah. you right now. That's true. <laughs> it's like a time trap. Yeah. Yeah, you actually couldn't get out right now because you're stuck between it's, Can you spell I'm, water? I'm glued. Oh, no. This is the TVA. It would actually no make me feel a lot zone. better if you guys had water in your laps as well. Um, you said TV. Do you watch? Have you been watching good. Loki? It's, yeah, like let's, it. let's talk about that. I like it. And tell us. I like it a lot. You do? Yeah. Why? I don't know. It just is like, it feels... You We're know, talking about like Loki of the, the Marvel uh-huh. series, by the way, folks. The horn, the guy with the horns. The guy with the horns, horny and guy. also the horny guy, the very horny, horny mischievous man. For himself. Whoop! No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. We like it. I don't no, care. Yeah, about I don't this. care. Well, yeah, I don't we... care about Loki. Have you watched it? No, you're not no. even the guest. So that's why. Here's here's what I think. I think there's like something about like a a, a like big sort of larger than life like organization with sort of shadowy yeah. stuff like yeah. controlling like quote unquote anomalies. It's mm-hmm. just so fascinating. It, it yeah. feels like it feels like some of the other shows haven't like had like a big idea like that. Yeah. Whereas well, like, Wanda, it's like well, a Wanda, movie level. I think idea. WandaVision had a really cool like. TV idea. Right, there was, a, exactly. there was a bit to unravel with WandaVision for sure. I liked it the most before it became the you know the last episode and they right, actually yeah. had, and I know they had to do it, right? right Cuz right. it couldn't just stay. They had to return it to a normal character. But that's an idea that's perfect for TV because right. you're it's like localized. Yeah, yeah it's like sati- satirizing, satirizing. I, I think those Yeah, kind of like joking, yeah, parody a little parody, bit. It's like, like yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's like with the old TV shows, but Loki does feel like more high concept. Yeah, yeah. It's I closer think the thing that I like the most about Loki is just how Good, and I'm about to build, bring out a film term right now. How okay. good the mise en scene Cringe. is for that. What the Which heck is are like, you talking it's about? Like, okay, it's like, so a, Dutch, see, it's like a Dutch angle, but there's no more. I know mise en scene no, was Talking that. about Loki was one thing. What did you just say? The it's mise-en- a, mise-en- mezzanine? It's a, it's a, it's a, okay. it's a Japanese in, in, soup. And would you, would you give them the definition? It is? The, the formal did. definition of mise en scene. It's M-I-S dash E-N and then dash... It's probably gonna fill okay, it in. You're so happy not like okay, having none you, of us know what this is. Can you calm down for a second? I, I don't even really know what the formal definition is. But <laughs> I have an idea. It's the it's arrangement words. of scenery and stage properties in a play. Well, who, who the it fuck? applies to film too. What it's like feng shui. Okay, so oh, yeah, that's shui. exactly what it sounds like. Yeah, can you can you can you just like listen to what that means? It's the settings or surroundings, the the scenery, like. I think that they did a really, really good job of representing stop. what the... No, I'm not going to stop. The vibe. Quiet down, little the one. Vibe. There's a word for it now. It's, it's true. the vibe. The vibe. The vibe. That's the same thing as the... No. The mise-en-scene. The mise-en-scene is about like this, like that 70s sort of shag rug kind of... Is this true, Ian? What it's it's more about the like the stage design and like like the set here would, yeah, would be like, it. So do we have the, good we have good mise en scene right now? I think we have great mise en scene. Okay. But what I'm saying for <laughs> for Loki <laughs> starting to like mise en scene like more. that that 70s sort of office building what are you vibe of saying? <laughs> Three out of ten. <laughs> nice, bro. God nice, damn, bro. Awesome. God damn. <laughs> Audio listeners. You're not even letting me explain Audio listeners, here. everyone is laughing. They're just all muted. Oh. <laughs> like this, this, the 70s vibe of yes. like the, you know, Mobius when he's wearing his, his like fucking orangey fucking gross looking suit and stuff. They're, I don't know. I just thought the, the actual look of the TVA was done very, very well where there's a very specific sort it's, of... It's like what they thought the, they thought the future was going to be like in the 70s. Like, I've gone through a few, like, exhibits of, like, furniture. Oh, like, with their little DSs? Well, everything is, like, so, like, like the wood, like, curved wooden furniture is right. very, like, what people thought was going to be futuristic. Retro-futuristic. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's the word for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it's just whatever's cheapest. But then at the same time, it's also, like, like a 70s office building as well. Yeah. So it's like a I don't, I mean, I, I don't know. Was it a set or a real building? I don't know why I'm asking I'm, you guys. If I, anybody I could almost Ted. guarantee that the majority of Loki is blue screen. You think so? Even the even like the hallways and stuff? Um, okay, so they have that just, one like elevator. They, they love it that would, elevator room. I think that's probably real. Probably real. Yeah. yeah, I mean like any small space is probably going to be shot, but like if you have like an extended space, 
Mm. Like it's you'll you're only going to really need to do some of that, and then you could right. you could sort of fill the rest. What in. is your favorite sort of Marvel movie? Or do you, are you a are you a yeah, I like movie it. guy? Yeah, no, I I like I have like bad taste in movies. So what does that mean? It's just like garbage. It means he likes Marvel. I like yeah. I was gonna yeah, say yeah. if that's what you said, or does like, it mean like you like the garb like garbage movies? N- but I like, like something, garbage. yeah, like garbage. Like something that people would say is like, like, like the pop culture movies. Kind of. What's your favorite oh, movie okay. of all time? I think Back to the Future, probably. I mean, that's a, like, that's a that's fun a good movie. Favorite. Like a, like a childhood. A nostalgia. Yeah. Rather safe, though, William. Yeah. But that's a, a kid me. Okay. Like, like 10 year old. Well, now me. that you've fully sort of. Did I tell, did I ever tell you about the worst answer that was ever given, by the way, that was by me? For the favorite movie? Yeah. No. What did you say? When I was interviewing. I was doing. I was gonna do an internship at. Uh, they asked you what your favorite movie is. I was gonna do an internship at. Oh, oh they did. Uh, they bad. did. What? Please, was they it did, a production? They didn't company? get out. They didn't get okay. out. Okay. What's that? What's that production company? Oh um, shoot! I don't know. Chris, that was great though. Uh, it's. Um, I just don't watch a lot of movies. No. I, yeah. I'm I'm forgetting the name of it, but I was I was, um, interviewing for an internship with this. Uh, company and uh, you know the inter the interview went fine and then at the end of it they asked me what my favorite movie was wait, wait so you're saying re- you you ruined a whole interview they actually well, thought of one the title for well, Get Out after having the interview well, with Ted because <laughs> I said this is a horror movie production company uh, uh, Universal Pictures Blumhouse Productions well, Blumhouse 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 um Blumhouse and Blumhouse. I was Same. googling that they. I just gave them the worst answer. So this is a horror movie production (laughs) company, and I gave them the worst answer that you possibly could give them because I told them Elf. (laughs) Why did you say that? I don't know. Why did you say Elf? I don't know. (laughs) That's not even true. That's not even true, is it? I mean, it's a good Christmas movie to watch seasonally. Is that what they asked you though? No, I mean, I was just like. I couldn't. I was nervous. I, I guess. get. I, I actually I, get that. I couldn't, and I was just like, it's just really. I was thinking about that like a movie that like, I've out. seen a lot. I was thinking of like. I guess my mind immediately went to like a movie that I've seen a lot, and I was just like, Elf. And then they asked me to explain it, and I was just like, <laughs> I was like, Oh, you know, I mean, <laughs> Will Ferrell's <laughs> just great. I mean, he's See, even, so even good even if you had that, said like it's sort of this elf. like very comforting movie like from my childhood like even yeah. that would you could have like ex- you could have gotten out I of it. I just like love Christmas. I could have I could have <laughs> but I was like you know I I, I tried like, to sell it more than I even needed to. Trying I mean, to was explain like, why yeah. I really love the Maison Shay yeah. and, the, <laughs> <laughs> and the fucking you freaking film idiot. elf <laughs> dude. Hey, yeah, there, there, nice, there, there nice, nice. Uh, What's your actual favorite movie Todd? My actual favorite movie? Yes. I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it, it is elf. It's elf. I'll tell you put the chocolate on the spaghetti. Usually usually when I say like a movie i really like i like this movie uh it's called wild tales kind of like veggie and it's by i think it's by a venezuelan director i forget his name wild tales i prefer i think his last name is citron like wild crafts yeah veggie tales wild boys wild boys wild half brother where do you find this is on tv wild tales movie yeah 20 2014? Ian, tell him it's not real. So it's it's like a, basically, a it's an anthology film. It's a black comedy anthology film about, like, human nature. Oh. Um, and it's, like, it's like made up of a bunch of short stories, and it's, um... Where do you find something like that? I like what? Tale. Where do you find, do you find it, like, on Netflix? Do you find it on... Did you, were you in a well, I went to, I went to uh, I Yeah, went that's to where I would school, assume. So that mm. stuff gets thrown around, I, like, I just really, wouldn't... I really like that movie, and I... Is I, that I, where you learned about Elf? <laughs> It, I wouldn't say it's my favorite movie, but it is a movie that I really like, and I'll go back to and watch. And I and I wrote like a paper about it. And stuff, you wrote a so paper about Elf? No, not would about you, Elf. I may you actually have. have. No, I, I actually feel have. like no, that's a lie. Huh? Elf's a good movie. I mean, yeah, it's a good movie, but it's also not the movie that you say that you like the most to Blumhouse. Like in, in a like, film interview, maybe you yeah. say like some sort of horror movie from fucking 1945, and something, and be like, "Oh, I really like the mise en scene in that, and the and the Dutch angles and the tilting mm. that happens." I actually with the have camera a, work is I have sort of, out a, of this world. like a trash taste favorite movie that's okay. like also a horror movie. I really like Zombieland. Yeah, Zombieland like, was good. It's like I mean, fun. it is. It was, it's not a lot of people's favorite movie, but you know why it was good? Okay. Because it was a pastiche. Oh Ian, fucking God. Oh this boy. is why we have you. It's just for this guy. We need, you're not allowed to I say words to that are over like six letters. <laughs> I'm just trying to get Ian to do more <laughs> miserable <laughs> podcast. No, Ted has to explain this What's, one. But, I mean, I, don't, I forget what pastiche means. I just like fun movies. Oh, so you just said it. 
Yeah. You just said it. I'm saying it just oh, said it. I'm, I'm trying to smell it sound smart. It's like, it sounds like what a nice pastiche. Sauce. I think it was a. If, if, I've never if, even heard I'm, this I may have not. No. I may not, not be correct. Yell it for me. Uh, P A S T I C H E? That doesn't even sound real. Pasta Che. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I said. I'm with Flat on this one. We got some pasta. We got some pasta. I think it's, some similar, it's similar to like um, parody or satire in certain ways. Maybe. But or, why no, not maybe just use parody and satire? It's, no, it's, like, it's, it's um, artistic just said that, work in a right? style that imitates. Uh, oh, God. That oh, he, he doesn't even understand it. Ian no. is. Well, you got to read it in, in the microphone. microphone. He doesn't even Somewhere understand. Right. It's like it's like a style that's like from the 18th century. Okay, that's not what it is. So, Ted, elaborate. There's, there's a better way to say it. So, Whatever. my favorite movie I would is say Terminator it. 2. Well, nobody cares about it. Terminator 2 is Judgment Day. Good Does movie. It? Terminator it 2. Terminator is a great one? movie. His ass is in full display. Oh, really? I'll say that. Yeah. His ass comes out. I see why it's too. His yeah. ass comes out when he walks into the bar okay, and he says, I need your boots and your motorcycle. I thought that was Terminator 1. And no. then they give him, they give him the, the boots. Terminator 2, the one with the liquid guy? Yeah. Oh yeah. That is. I remember because I was a kid, and that was the first R movie I ever got like a glimpse that's a, of. And that's I a good R. Yeah, movie. I walked into my my like I was at my grandparents' yeah. house. I think I watched the the corridor thing on the, yeah. the special I, effects yeah. on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The the like pass through the bar. Yeah. yeah. The pass. Through yeah. The I walked thing. into the room right as the woman was like getting the cereal, and then he yeah. like, put a spike through her, and it just Seriously, like completely milk, traumatized like... me. Yeah, as a kid. So that's, I was that's like, awesome. I was like, Grandma, are, uh, Grandpa, are you like, are you liquid? <laughs> are you liquid? Like, <laughs> but. <laughs> going, I like hold his hand, steer him away from gutters and where he's gonna melt. Him. Real quick though, going off of your thing of zombie man, the idea behind the pasty thing, it yeah, was like a you... satire on like a zombie movie. Is why I, and is why I... it's it's actually a style of art that imitates the style of more than one artist. Ian is talking too much. So it's like satire and plagiarism. Yeah, cool. Hey, I don't uh, know if it checks those boxes, but I it is. I, I mean, it, it almost is, did. It is a parody in a way. It's somebody in the fun. comments. Like, I feel like it's more of just a fun thing with the setting. Like, yeah. it feels like it's aware that it's like doing the dumb zombie. It's self-aware. Bo Burnham doesn't like that. Why not? I, we should talk about Remember that. We should Bo talk about Burnham inside. doesn't like self-aware. We should talk about in, inside. That was his whole thing. It was this like whole thing is like... that is that uh, self-awareness is not helpful or, or productive if it is, if it is just self-contained like, self-awareness. Like... Be like quirkily self-aware as opposed to take is making it action. He didn't. Yeah. Uh, I you guess know? I I'd seen actually a clip of this when he talked about this on the H three podcast, but then he also talked about it in his the movie Inside where he doesn't really like the Deadpool self-awareness, where he's like, like that sort of, because it's made by, it's a multi, it's like a billion dollar yeah. movie, and then it's like you've got this guy being like, it's also well, I'm so ironic. how really self-aware is it, I am right? Ironic, is sort of the question like there. How, yeah, you can be, so, like, it's... Safe self-awareness. It's the self-awareness, but that is also a lie, because it's not really self-aware, because you're still doing the thing that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think you can look at, like, the type of audience that it brings out. In the Deadpool audience that it brings out is like it's like it's like it's horrific. Yeah, I I, I, I enjoy I enjoy both though. Like I I, I know, but but you both. see that what, what like comes out of Rick and Morty and what came out of dude uh, the sauce. Remember the Szechuan sauce? Oh, craze? Are we really oh, the dancing. We, we actually fucking, have some back some here. Yeah, yum yum sauce right here. This is it right here. Go you ahead. got the yum yum sauce. This is the light colored sauce served at the Japanese hibachi restaurants. Well, and if you could just stand up and sort of Terry expose Ho's your pants. Terry so Ho's yum yum sauce. Yeah, you, you need the somewhere original. to put that. I can this cover is, my pants with it. Yeah, this is gluten free. I'm just going to open it real quick. Oh, this is actually really worrying because wow, I'm this is incredible. You don't mind. I'm going to open the package of the yum yum sauce. I think I'm about to get yum yum real quick. I'm I'll take yum yum somewhere. Don't you okay. pour that on Charlie. I will, I pour I will hit you. I just... Oh, give it a shot. I actually want to drink this. Okay. Okay. I'll, no, I'll do it. I'll you're going to do it? I like yum yum. Oh, William Osmond is here. Oh, Osmond you're so here. right. William Osmond, give it up. It's it's yummy. It's yummy. They call okay. it like a It smells like Thousand Island. Yum yum sauce. It's like. So, what are you doing? Oh, okay. Oh, that was so much. That was so much. <laughs> is it good? Thousand Island. Yum yum. Cool. That, that was, was so much. Schlatt. What is going on? Why are we doing this? <laughs> that was honestly the most like sensual thing I've ever seen, and it really was not. I didn't like the way it sort of. Slopped. I think like <laughs> the the taste is good. The quantity. If you give anything like, viscous to Schlatt at a certain quantity, yeah. he's gonna start gagging. Wash it down. Wash it down. I don't know. It's just Thousand Island. That's what happened with the uh, with the thick water. How about that? Is you, <laughs> you just, Schlatt tried to chug the thick water? Wow, we're gonna we're gonna have to get another one of those for tomorrow. Because trust me, we're gonna need it for tomorrow. <laughs> um, 
No brand. So no free advertising. Okay. We so have everything label out. Have we this, determined the entire thing? Have we determined okay, what William's favorite movie is? We wait. My my childhood one, Back to the Future. Okay, yeah, right. But you didn't say now. I I don't know. How do we even? Yeah, I guess I guess my childhood one then is is Elf. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Okay, if um, you had to pick. Oh wait, but ooh, I like the well, I mean, four time movies. Those are pretty good. Ed? Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Are, Land Before Time fucking sucks. What? Kids. kids. I want. No, I watched it again like a year ago. You watched it good. again? Well, don't watch it again. Well, don't so remind yourself. You can't say that it's a good movie and then not. You know what movie? Ra- it's really boring. You know what? Mo- Honestly. You know what movie aged really badly too? Bambi. Three Ninjas. Does anybody remember I Three watched, Ninjas? I watched Three Ninjas in my like my like uh, elementary school like it Taekwondo came out like, class. Like, it's a it's I a it's no a movie idea. about three kids. Basically, it was moving off of the craze of like wow. what happened with Karate Kid, and it was basically like these wow. three kids, and they had their grandpa. And they were like um, fighting off like and people they were, that were like fi- attacking them. It was like some sort of drug ring, and like these three kids that are like in karate <laughs> class infiltrate were, the drug ring. Yeah, and they like yeah. beat up these guys, and it's like stop them from selling. And I party remember rock. when I was a kid, I would go over to <laughs> William Haverstock's Doing party house, rock anthem. and I would watch that movie with him. And then after the movie was over, we're like jumping around, like kicking Doing each crap. other and shit, we're jumping around, <laughs> dude. Oh yeah, we're jumping around. We're like we're like just. Doing kick flips and shit. And yeah, they showed that to us without in, a skateboard in a karate class that I did. They take us like Chuck E. Cheese and show us movies and sometimes the and actual... they show you three ninjas and they showed us three ninjas Chuck and then they really? take and then they put us against each other like we aren't going to try some stupid shit, oh, right? Yeah, that was right, awesome. Of course. That was fun though. It was fun. Yeah, yeah we watched it on like a big like projector and then on you the top. Fight the crap out of each other. Yeah, and then we just beat the hell out of <laughs> each other. You know, it's great. That's awesome. Yeah. That that yum yum sauce. <laughs> You're still so on that. I, huh? I can't even taste it anymore. I just, I just it. Really you have, you have, like, have a little. I mean, like, what do you think? It was maybe just bad. Yeah, you got it. It. it I listen. <laughs> oh, all I'm nice. saying you is when that, that went down mic. my throat, I, I okay. wasn't saying so maybe wash like it. That. Maybe like wash that. it down with some ketchup. Huh? No, I, I don't think I, I, already, I, think I, already I can do that. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's <clears> okay, so I just, we need to answer the question. We've been on too many tangents. We're in a big sort of tumbleweed of conversation right We've now. We still never finished the, uh, the your Grubhub. Favorite, your favorite, your favorite movie right now. What's your favorite genre, at least? Yeah, hey, hey, hey. We'll narrow hey, it down. Hey, we'll hey, narrow it down. It, <clears> it, come on. Come I, I like sci-fi. You like sci-fi? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. Like, um, anything... Chris Interst- Interstellar is good. Not my favorite movie, but it's good. It's like a little bit no. too serious. I sort of like more like fun, campy. What's a fun, campy sci-fi movie you really like? I think actually recently, it was the original Guardians of the Galaxy. That one was good. It's just it Mise was en really Sen fun. On point. The mi- yeah. the Misan Sen was really good. The what was that? my chakras uh, were thriving in theaters. Hero. No, that doesn't apply in every situation. The pastiche. Sense of descriptor pastiche. Of a certain the pastiche was there. The pastiche no, 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 was there. Pastiche is a descriptor word of it was like totally a certain pastiche. genre. Yeah, I think, I think of, of an yeah, it, was, it was a bunch <laughs> of mise en scène is a descriptor for an aspect of a piece of work. The, the, the Dutch angles were really good. Set? Yeah, yeah. Ken, little Ken Burns. He was in there. He showed up. He did the. Did he? <laughs> he showed up in the movie. All like, the characters do the Kubrick stare. You know. <laughs> like, well, <laughs> you think the Kubrick stare happens in every movie? Are you insane? They do. Uh, they put. Three I'll tell you one thing. Little thirds. I'll yeah. tell you one thing. There's, I may yeah, have gone to film three, school, but I could never. I can't sit through 2001: A Space Odyssey without fucking falling asleep. I dude. tried watching. I tried that watching with my on dad. an airplane, and I tried watching. What's the other one? Citizen Kane. I yeah, mean, people are gonna get mad at me. Citizen Kane actually used to it used to have 100 percent on Rotten Tomatoes and it got it lost that because of like a old review from like 1971 that got submitted and oh. now like I think like Paddington Two is at high, is higher than <laughs> Citizen Kane. That's uh, that's fucking awesome. Oh, that is so wait. awesome that Paddington Two gets to be the Tomatoes. objectively best movie on How? Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. Is it good? He's such a it funny have, bear, Willie. He so, he's a funny he's bear. such a funny he's a bear. Funny bear. Yeah, so, he's a pastiche. So he's, he's a pastiche, he's a little pastiche he's guy. Totally pastiche that and a mesothelioma. Mesoth- you guys are just. Sue. This is like it's a like bunch of kids. It's Art of War was really. You guys, yeah. You guys sound like kids that just learn the word fucking are just throwing around in any context. We can do that as well. Yeah. One, what? two, three. Crap. Crap. Damn. What um, kind of commitment that was. Yeah, yeah no, was. Paddington 2. <laughs> number one movie on Rotten Tomatoes. That feels like a like a joke, like a meme. It does feel like a joke, and I feel like a lot of things that turn awesome. out to be true should be <laughs> yeah. jokes, such as... Uh, what? 
I'm you sorry, what? You yeah. I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm offering. General, he just I'm, called you a joke. Yeah, I'm calling me a joke I that shouldn't be, be real. No, no, no. Yeah, I was, I, I was did. giving you he the did. floor to show him your real. Give me an example. Show him your real. Because I couldn't think of anything. Uh, things that should be fake. Birds. Birds. That's not birds. Are Have real. you ever seen a baby pigeon? Mm -mm. No. Everyone's talked about this before. Actually, you've have never been. seen a They're baby really pigeon. Gross. Here's I mean, my theory. Person. I think that there is. Why would you just see a baby pigeon? A mothership. I've seen a baby anything? All right. Have I think that all of the no, pigeons that you've <laughs> ever seen are just male pigeons, and that there is, at least in New York, maybe a central giant pigeon, big, fat. Huge pigeon. It's like bleeds out. It's just pigeon. shitting out the males, and there's maybe some maybe in, in closer to the hive. I think they sort of operate in a hive format. Oh, that's cool. There's maybe some warrior pigeons, something like that. Those other ones out there, they're just the fucking drones. You, you know? think there's warrior, are the warrior pigeons? Are the warrior pigeons the one that walk I mean, in front I of your car? That I hope <laughs> 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 that's the <laughs> Well, yeah, those are the drones. Those are going to I, war. Um, they're doing airstrikes. When I was studying abroad in Ireland, we went to this like castle museum thing, and they had a like they had a pigeon. And when I say that, I know like, like it pigeon. wasn't like a pet pigeon. It chose to stay there, and it, it was in the corner of the castle, and it was in, on, inside. They the called castle. it dragon because it couldn't fly anymore. It was so big. Uh, so it was like it was like this. What? It's like, like like fat. Yeah, it was fat. It was this love of a pigeon, and it would like it has a, a pile of seeds in like the corner that it would sit on, and like it would like defend basically against people. So Literally they, a dragon. Yeah, they would like offer up seeds to it, and it would just get larger, but they couldn't stop it. So they Jesus just like I guess they were just Christ. waiting for it to die. Um, well, what else? That's it was incredible. Huge. It was huge. It was massive. Wait, can, Ian, can you look up dragon the pigeon? There's no way. <laughs> 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 in, in, in. I want to see a photo of this pigeon, this Irish pigeon named Dragon that is so fat that it. I'll actually be so happy if you're able to. to yeah, find Ian, it. pull that photo up in three seconds. Two, Whoa. one. Uh, I found something horrifying, but I don't know. If Can you show us the horrifying for. thing? Sure, definitely. Let me uh, just, uh, it's just a photo of Arnold's. Chris penis. is making a really yeah. Yeah. disgusting. Yeah. They, call it, they call it dragon as well. Yeah, they call that one dragon. <laughs> That's what came oh. up. Ew. Oh, oh. Why would you show oh. us that? Yeah, don't, don't put that up. Don't what put that about that up. obese pigeon? Hey. Or really fat. Yeah, Arnold, potentially Arnold be dragging his obese Arnold pigeon. third arm, that's what they call that's it. That's what they call it. They call it the Terminator. They call it he calls it Judgment Day. When he said he calls it. He calls it. He calls it. He calls it. Rise of the Machines. <laughs> yeah, fucking. That's, that's funny. Uh, he, this Skynet. is a video for biggest pigeon. Biggest world. pigeon. Well, we'll like see about that. Save that pigeon. link. Why is it right zooming there? in so much that we he can't looks, see if it's big? Yeah, sure. What? Who made this video? Now it's, it's too close. Okay, looks that, like a, oh, that's a big. Whoa, that looks like geez. a chicken. That looks does look like a chicken. That does look like that's a fucking huge pigeon. That's a big boy. I think per pigeons get a so, bad rap. So okay, actually. well. They're kind of I'm seeing this. They're fine. I'm seeing this pigeon right now, Charlie. But I'm wondering, dragon was it like fat? Like was it like? So the, here's the thing about that pigeon: is that pigeon looks like a hen or a chicken. Dragon did not. Dragon looked like. Uh, like did he have actually like, like weight on him? Sort of like if you took like something like the yum yum sauce and like let it run onto the table and then stopped it, where it was like sort of like a puddle. Uh, it's mm. kind of what he. Looked it was like. like a puddle. He looked like, well, like I couldn't see his legs. Right, that was sort of right. the difference. Is he was just kind of. What, what if he was sitting? Well, no, he was, just, like, like, he was moving under. around, so... He's like, oh. Yeah. Well, no, he could walk. Uh -huh. He walked. But, well, like, not not far from the horde. Like, his like his fat was, like, dragging on the ground as he walked, like a skirt. Yeah, all, kind of. I mean, it's like, I didn't see his feet, but he looked like sort of like a chocolate chip. So he room. kind of, like, he was, like, he scooting like around. Chocolate like a chocolate chip. Yeah, it was. A little scooter. Yeah, I know. I think, uh, I think I actually kind of like pigeons. I don't know. I, I, no. No, don't say that. I was out. I was out this morning. Don't say the, you like the, pigeons. On the balcony of our our hive slash B and B, and I saw. I was watching birds. Don't say you like pigeons, please. I, do, I think pigeons don't rub. deserve love. Squ well, okay. So what about a pigeon makes you go? Oh, it's it's just doing its best. I mean, it's better than a seagull. Come on. <sighs> I don't even think that's true. I think it absolutely. Do you ever think they're about kind seagulls? Of, they're in the same seagulls category. will go out of their way to fuck up your deck. Pigeons are like squirrels. Just, squ just, you are okay with are, you will tolerate squirrels. What's wrong with I pigeons? I mean, seagulls are almost entirely focused on just getting food from you. That's what every that's all animals know how to do most. I know, but like seagulls are like seagulls especially are especially focused bastards on it. about it. Yes. Yeah, though I mean they don't give a shit. I mean, they'll they'll come up and they know they can get away from you fast enough. I mean, I don't think I've seen many videos where, uh, you know, someone can just like go and grab a seagull by the neck and just slam it in the ground. How However, many pigeons can you grab? 
I'm going to invent something now. Let's just do that. <laughs> like, like, it's just like an extended yeah. arm. It has, yeah. yeah, it's an extended arm with a french fry and like the. Let's make, a, let's make a video, a man. A machine that grabs pigeons by the neck. A machine that grabs pigeons. I don't want to do that. Is that, that animal? Okay, well, here, here, is there? Yes. Is there yes. 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 Well, it's not but a question. No one will be like, oh no, stop attacking guys, pigeons. Guys, no. hold on. I will. The okay. comments will be like, there's no need to be so mean about it. Pigeons are modern okay. puppy. And I'm asking William our guest here. So please calm down. Please calm down. <laughs> what are you doing? William, is there any sort of engineer's code that would prevent you by moral code or law to create a... Why are you doing that? Both Damn, of the things that have happened that. in this studio. What are you doing? Stop. Don't. Don't. <laughs> You're gonna lose some serious you points. You gotta with me stop. If you do you that, have to, sir. This is why I'm not. I'm not, I'm not fucking it, around. I'm not fucking around. You're gonna lose dude. some points. You're gonna lose some serious points with me, Schlatt. It's everywhere, man. St oh my god, you dude, wouldn't. do it. You're being like a baby right now. Like you're literally like you're like slamming on do the it, table. If you do it, do it. You're slamming on the table. You're squeezing sauce balls of the of the ketchup bottle. Talk talk more about Maison C for a second, Ted. Okay. All right. I know what happened. So oh, well, no, don't me. suck on oh, it. You gotta like shoot me. it in your mouth. Oh, genuinely screw this. I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm, I'm, I'm asking William about something right now, and Schlatt decided it was uh, a little bit too much time had gone out without it Whoa. being about him, and he had to start squeezing bottles and stuff and slamming on the table Absolutely like a baby. Absolutely fucking unbelievable. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you got it, bro. I got you. No, I got. Oh, Charlie. Oh, it's probably just oil. What? No, like you know how it, like you know how mustard right, separates. Mustard. But it was just poured in. No, it was mustard mix. Yeah, I guess I that's true. That. Either way, William, is there some sort of limit by an engineer's moral code <laughs> to making a a a a, a, a pigeon catcher? I don't know. There's a the whole government organization. So like, who does animals? Well, who's talking? Who I mean, does animal criminals? I don't the know. only no. time I ever, <laughs> the only time I ever saw people standing fish up for game. animals was the Animal Planet show Animal Cops. So yeah, so fish and game would be fish yeah. and game. Yeah, that's like the government organization that would come and get mad at you if they saw you attacking. Like pigeons. not even like organization <laughs> or administration, just fish and game. Fish and game, yeah. I think pigeons are not game. F and G. Pigeons are not game. I mean, maybe I, they're okay. playing a game with us, and we're losing. I don't I know if you're allowed to just go and like kill Ian. pigeon. If it doesn't <laughs> you feel could, right, though, it's, it's just the probably... Department of Fish and Wildlife. Fish and Wildlife. Yeah, fish and game. What are you talking I'm, about? Well, here's the fish have game. It's fucked up that the wildlife department would call it game. So maybe <laughs> no one, no one cares though. Like you're not gonna get the government after you. Can I, take, dude, I don't you know. can take a bird. They're bored. The right, pigeons you can, no, 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 Texas. You, you right. can. This is government property, William. dude. Uh, the robot? No, it's not. You can. <laughs> no, it's not. You can take. When you think about it, I'm I'm crying. The, which kind of He's thinking about onions. When you think about it, you could really just go and take a bird. Yes. People keep pigeons as pets. It's considered more. Is there any? You can go and take a bird. Crying. Why are you crying? I don't know. Because like, but you could take one. You might need. <laughs> no, you actually are crying. You might need Shit, a license. Man. Why? Why are you crying? Because <laughs> we're talking about. Yeah. Talking about pigeons. Catching Do you have pigeons. something you want to share with us? Is there something going no, on? No, talk about it. Talk about it. I Come just on. can't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Get him a napkin. Get grab a this napkin. Way, we're like, ow, it's like coming in here, I guess. <sighs> you want, oh, no. Here, you want a wet wipe? You can use will, my shorts. This will get you going. Hey, give you a there's some up there. They're out of reach. Don't. It's... Jesus. A joke, man. <laughs> How long have we been doing this for? How long have we been going for? Uh, we are at 54 minutes. Oh, jeez. Great. Six more minutes, William. Oh, six more minutes. Yes. And we're, um, we're, okay, we're so I think... You're I'll making me, him cry. Out. Let, me, let me spit out what we I think of pigeons. We barely asked William anything. I know. That's fine. That's how it should be. Um... If you try to catch a pigeon, you probably can do it, but you might piss off commenters. And if you're really unlucky, then you'll get fish and wildlife. I don't care about Knocking commenters. You think I care about what the reaction of the video is going to be? I, I want to fucking stop live streaming. I'll upload a goddamn video of me strangling one to death. I'll, I'll fucking true. grab it. I'll just imagine I'll grab it so hard it can't no, yeah, add in front of the video. I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll fucking grab Slide, it so hard its head pops. That's, Slide, that's, that's, that's yes. the one time. That's the one time that you're gonna start getting news coverage. Okay, 
It's gonna be. I'll do it. Be like ABC ABC Seven Eye Witness News is gonna be like. that has been said. Put me on Pix Eleven. Nightmare. Put me on Pix Eleven right after the Mets game. Deranged. Fuck you. Deranged YouTuber strangles pigeons. I'm gonna start strangling pigeons. What would Elf Elf think if he saw you? I'm gonna rename my channel. I'm gonna rename my channel the Pigeon Strangler. How about that? Didn't you read a book in high school? They make you read a book in high school about strangling birds. What? The Winger. It's like a book about kids who like I don't know. I That's said book, I said right? I'm a bird feeder and I watch them. That's all oh I do. God, you just like all sorts of different types of people. Some people watch birds. Some people the mocking <laughs> mocking Most bird. Most people don't strangle birds. No, but it's, it's like it's like a statement. hunting thing or something. I don't know. It's a hunting strangling thing. Strangling birds. Yeah, is that yeah, strangling birds. Thing. Is that a book? No. Jesus. What? Mocking Jay? That was like a book. Hunger I swear Games? I read a book Hunger in high school that had something to do about like, strangling birds. Katniss, like you have to Katniss break their neck. That's what that pigeon? District Eight was big. It's all run. It's all run by a pigeon. Yeah. Yeah. The whole thing was run by a pigeon. What the district? What was District Seven? District Seven was uh, just just big was, wheels. It was big wheels. <laughs> they were big, big enough. Everyone lives in wheels. Yeah. Everyone's rolling around in wheels. <laughs> they just, they just want to build the biggest wheel. They just love wheels. District Six is all folding chairs. It's crazy how District reason. Nine was just like <laughs> all about that old chairs. alien. Yeah, everyone's shit a folding chair. Everyone's sitting. Yeah. Chairs. Everything's made out of folding chairs. You fold the wrong one. Everything. The whole, the whole <laughs> story in that movie is a guy gets a bunch of smaller like folding chairs. <laughs> The whole story in the District 7 movie is that he gets infected by a wheel oh, and he starts turning one. into a wheel and he starts yeah. rolling around. <laughs> they put that, him on the wheel. The Maison on movie is just... It's Mise en Seine. The, that's different. The, the, the mes- mes- you guys the, keep saying Mise en Seine. Mise en Seine what? Mise en Seine. <laughs> if we say it enough times, maybe it'll just become the new way. The mesosphere. No. The mesosphere. The mesothelioma. Yeah, there's going to be a bunch of fucking cinephiles in the comments that are going to come after it's you guys. Like, I guarantee you, there's no cinephiles that watch I bet there's podcast. a couple. I bet there's What's a couple. What's your favorite layer of the atmosphere? Um, I like the one that uh, I can breathe in. Can so you tell like us? From here to like 10,000 feet, I think. That's good. Okay. That's can good. you tell us what the hell we're going to do with nitrogen? What do you mean? Like, what the fuck are we doing? The atmosphere is made up so much of nitrogen. You could cool it down and then you the could freeze stuff do with in nitrogen. It. If you liquefy Do it. I breathe nitrogen? Yeah. yeah. It just, it just really? exists. Yeah. I mean, you can breathe anything once. I'm pretty no, sure. but nitrogen makes up like 80% of the yeah. atmosphere, doesn't it? Yeah. It just does nothing. It does nothing? You can, so they can fill your tires up with nitrogen and it lasts longer because apparently it leaks out slower through the oh. rubber because it's like bigger molecules. Is it? Hey. Okay. That's like cool. if you see, I think green caps on tires make I could be totally I got, wrong. I got pretty big molecules. You could be yeah, totally big, wrong. It's like big and you're just telling us What if I go ask someone to fill my tires me. with nitrogen and they blow up? Whose fault is it then? Uh, ideally, they would. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I mean, that's what, what, what do you want? What are you looking for when you fill your tires up? Yeah, are you looking for? Uh, maybe hydrogen? Yeah, that'd be cool. What, you fill your shit with hydrogen? Yeah. <laughs> your car would be a little bit lighter. That'd be cool. What's or helium. Favorite? What if I filled up? Okay, what would happen if I filled up my tires with helium? Would Dude, my car float a little really bit? Be really funny. No. Like, like even this seems marginally, like a even marginally, someone has to have done this. I guarantee. Even marginally, done like, would the weight of my car be reduced? Like, if yeah, you yeah, fill it would, something, it would. like if you fill something with helium and then you weigh something with that helium being involved, does the weight of that thing reduce? Yes. But by, because that's only in regards how, like, to how much you amount? feel the gravity no. on the earth. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, like, okay. like, hypothetically, it would be. Right? So if you looked at your car, like a scale, like your car on a scale, you'd be like, you know, a couple thousand pounds. It probably wouldn't even register like a tenth of a pound difference. Right, because then the Why haven't we been asking them fun, stupid way? science questions this what's whole time? What's your favorite, William, what's your favorite gas? Uh, farts. <laughs> that's awesome, what, dude. What gas is <laughs> yeah, so glad we finally have a scientist Is that just methane? I don't know. I think it is like some methane and it's just some weird stuff that smells bad. What's like your organic. favorite noble guess? And how many are there? <laughs> are there are eight. There's seven. What's, There's your favorite, seven. what's your favorite peasant seven. guess? How did you um, not know that there was seven noble guesses? That's actually kind so of I curious. I said seven or eight. I'm not a chemist. No, no he said, said eight. He I, said dude, eight. I did and mechanical then we said seven. You, take, you literally seven. take one semester okay, of chemistry. Okay, but you're the guy who goes on YouTube and you say, Hi guys, yeah. I'm smart, no, no, and no. that is my brand. No, have you no, watched any of my videos? Some, no, no. And for everyone out there, this is William's brand. He says, "I am smarter, and I'm smarter than you," and that, and that's why you watch. My me. brand is I'm dumber every day. Mm, I don't know. I think you kind of come in with a bit of an egotistical I think attitude. If you engineer, you're an engineer, and I think yeah. if you fart, you're a chemical scientist. Exactly. Yep. He nailed it. Like you, if you had now red on here, he could actually tell you what like makes. Tell us smoke. about the battle bot. Oh, you want to know about the battle bot? It pissed a lot of people off. It pissed a lot of people yeah. off, In, and yeah. I don't think that these guys necessarily know about the He battle bought a battle butt. butt. You know the robots that fight oh, each other? Oh, I know other? the robots yeah, yeah. that fight. You he bought, bought like one. a pre-existing yeah. one? Yeah, yeah. Which one? Red Devil. What's and he it? actually brought it here today. What does Red Devil do? 
Bring oh, actually, yeah. <laughs> bring in the battle bot. Bring in the battle bot. I feel something against my leg. What that, is that? That would be <laughs> such a no. Giant trust robot. me, that would be such a pain in the ass to bring be, that thing in there. It's like four hundred pounds. So what it's, does it do? It's massive. It's, it's got like the two size tank treads. It's the size of this table. Yeah, it's like yeah. I want to know like how it has two tank treads. Yeah, it has like a saw blade. The saw blade is kind of like whatever. It's it's saw blade's pretty cool. Not the it highlight. is cool. What's the highlight? Like it, it, so it has like claws. So it has like two grippers on the front, like big claws that it can grab on something that can like lift him up. No, you you don't, oh, don't, go you right. don't understand. The point is to battle. Yeah. So it has battling battle tools. It has battle grippers. Yeah. 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 So like so they were done competing with it, the guy who built it. Right. And he wanted it out of his house. And so he sold it. He had two of them actually. Oh. And he had two of the same No, one one, one was a different one. That oh, they competed okay. with on a different show. And he was selling them and I was just like, How could I not like you can't what you You, you gotta buy one. You right. gotta buy one. I like I, you can't not buy it. So I bought it. I mean, so you what can. You it's called self-control. I but... didn't have that. I didn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> of which you do not have. No. <laughs> so what have what have you done with it so far? How so have you we put it to use? we made the internet mad just from buying it. We, okay. I I, mean, I was able to drag my car down the street with it. Um, we took it you to my pushed friends. It, didn't you? I think it maybe both. It was easier to drag. Or oh. push. I don't really remember. That's crazy. But that thing's got a lot. It goes it's fast. It's a ton too. of power and it's really fast. And we like the scariest part isn't the weapon or the claws. It's the fact that you can just like drive it through a wall. Yeah, and but so we just took a big hunk of metal. It's just a big hunk of metal that goes, metal that goes really fast. Explain yeah. though how are you pissed off the internet? Yeah, why are people upset? There? Some people are mad know. because they say it's like oh he's being like unsafe with it. Oh, a battle bot. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're not using that battle bot properly. Right. If you've seen clips of battle bots too, like those things are getting <laughs> sent like a hundred feet in the air and yeah. shit. Like, I yeah, feel like they should be like incinerated on camera afterwards. So you know that like we're safe. <laughs> I know. Like, they're not coming for us. Yeah. There's Don't worry, a folks. Bot. Red Devil is not coming for you. <laughs> there is literally a battle bot that is like a fucking like spatula thing that just like yeah. just throws oh, the I've battle the bots yeah, yeah. in the air. Yeah. I've yeah. seen like, like taser Bronco. ones as well. Taser ones? You're not. Are, which one's taser? And they like make a little and then like parts fly off. That, There's that, some that shoot. But one year a team had uh, like paintball guns that shot like sparking like special effects paintballs. That doesn't mm. seem like it would actually. It doesn't do, do anything. Yeah. It just I looks think. cool. It'd be cool it, though. It, shows, it looks like, like they probably heads. it would definitely be against the rules to have some sort of yeah. electrical thing that would mess up if the circuits. If you think if right? you think it's Is probably it? against the rules, it's against the rules. Are there a lot of rules There's in battle bots? Well, because then, dude, imagine like. The smartest thing to do would be like put, a, a, gun put a gun about it. Put a gun on a robot. See, <laughs> put a machine gun. Like a, like put yeah. up like a M240. Yeah. yeah. In, in the you just put the intern in. A with two flight just strap the battle bot. You can you can turn the water. It's a robot. <laughs> just put a water gun on your robot and like right when the match starts, just start spraying the other person. Just wrap myself yeah. in tin foil, run in there and throw theirs into the crowd. That would be bad. Well, it would. Isn't it the fault of the other person to not waterproof the robot? They should have prepared for it. That's the thing. Didn't you prepare? For all Here's situations, a, this does Red is Devil a, have an umbrella. Slot? It doesn't. No, it's just oh. it's got a bunch of holes that would let the water right in. Really like See, that's no. the thing. We always we always impose these stupid little silly regulations right. for competition. Yeah. When in reality, we should just be considering everything. Yeah, no rules. No rules. Like, imagine like boxing, but no rules. I want I want to see everything below the belt. I want to yeah. see all below blood, the belt. all blood down there. Only dick shots. <laughs> So sports this was, wouldn't exist. This was no, 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 no. They would. Someone but dies every. No, it'd sports be would a, be. It'd be just sports, a blood dome in a different shape <laughs> arena. Sports would be. Sports would be, soccer would be, ball too, sports no would be competing it. at a higher level because you can say, "Oh, what you want to take steroids? Fine, be my guest. But if there's no rules, then what? Be is the, the best you can be. So at the end of the day, right, you can only win if you survive. So therefore, I right. think that every yeah. sport would just turn into yeah, a bloodbath. Like yeah. synchronized swimming would just yeah. be like synchronized strangling instead. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so in that case, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you just have to be the last one to be. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but to not I kind of agree with that set of 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 mindset though because. In that case, that's the way we're gonna get the fastest towards like cyberpunk shit, where it's like people are walking around with their fancy I elbow would, legs. Yeah. How far away are we from cyberpunk level uh, amputee shit? And people, people can't even wash their hands after going poop. What? Like, there's no like, society as a How whole. How is that? You think, what you said after what I just like you talking about cyber? Oh, he's talking about general advancement. I think. Yeah, I like about. yeah, general advancement. But like, you, people can't even do like basic stuff to take care of themselves. So it's like, how can you expect? Yeah, to, yeah. No one's yeah. gonna maintain their robot cock. Yeah. I'm asking. Right. I'm asking for a timeline, William. I'm not asking like, what do you, for your problems. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Probably like less than a hundred years. You're gonna see something like okay. cyberpunk. It depends on what, because everything starts off like I'm much, laser much slower, right? So like, <clears throat> it's easy to see something and be like, oh, that's like stupid technology. 
Like people said about computers at first, right? Like what what the hell am I gonna use a computer? Oh for? What's shit! The closest... So we're gonna so it's oh, we're not gonna see that shit until we're like fucking like because yeah. it's gonna start small and then it's gonna like maybe you're gonna be dead by then yeah. too. Yeah, oh, you're gonna be. God, gonna I won't be, be able to share with you. I won't right. be able to shake your right. hand. We won't be able to so jerk closest... each other off with our exactly. robot arms. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Would you put your mind in the cloud and live forever? Actually or would you die? I think I would just die. Like you man, think you yeah. just want to die? I do. I think living forever would be awful. I don't know. I'd probably die. Yeah. I I would only do it if I had the ability. I would I would want it like the spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen uh, the Good Place. I would want an ending, like an option to like do it as long as I want. That's and then dying. Though. And then well, and that's then, really then the I know, but like, almost, right? but like. In the end of the the show, the Good Place, it was like they were tr they were I, yeah, they were trying maybe. to they were trying to figure out like a solution How to, to the afterlife the seasons because everyone who was in heaven no, was just so idea. happy it, that they were just so fucking bored after a yeah. while. They had nothing else yeah. to do. These souls were just fucking like, all right, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Nothing was good anymore. Gravity gives you value, right, and, yeah. and meaning in a way. Cause yeah. You know, you have all the time in the world. It's like imagine if you had an, having an appointment versus knowing you have to do something. Yeah. But you right. never have to do it because it just goes on right. forever. So it's like why? people think people think it's like I got to get to this thing, and then they get to the thing and they look back and they're like, oh my god, like getting to the thing was actually like the most exciting part. Yeah. Of everything. Yeah. yeah. So the solution at the end of it was that they just kind of had a portal, and that like when you had all the time that you wanted. And in heaven, well, then you can just huge, like go. Massive, it's, it's massive the, spoiler for Good Place. But <laughs> well, I don't fucking care. This show's been wall. over. It's been over, but it's real. It's really good, and it's a lot of sort of stuff to get there. But you know, it's fine. It's cool. It's whatever. End if the, the show's over. It's, it's like all good. It's all bad. It's about the destination. Why don't we? Okay. So has anyone seen uh, Game of Thrones? Somebody spoil the end of that too. No. <laughs> it's I've not, not even seen it. nearly equivocal in in weight. Um, would you put your uh, face in the cloud or whatever? If I had under the that's no, why I, it would, I that. think I think the question would be generally just die or cloud forever. I die. Okay. I think that anyone who picks the other option would be they really horribly think miserable. of themselves highly probably. Yeah. Is, I think yeah yeah like that. You, would, like, you put way you put way too much value in your own life if you if you if think you want to live for it's like well you must think that you really have something to add to the world. I think. Well, like well, it's yeah, not like, it's not you you're living for you're you're more it's more so this extra world where all the dead people go after. You know, oh, like upload. that one Black Mirror episode. Yeah. Well, this, shit, that kind of changes things. Soma, well, a little bit. Soma, the video game Soma also did something like oh, that I too. Really liked that. Yeah. I liked that. That was cool. I, yeah, it's interesting. Hey, Schlein, uh, just I don't think the camera could see it right now. There you go. There you go. Uh, um, would you? I'm, so taking it down a couple notches from putting your mind in the cloud forever. I mean, you had mentioned the cyberpunk stuff. Would you just like get a robot arm, or is it something that's like? I think I think if you had a problem with something, you'd get it. Swapped so out. a replacement, yeah. but not a yeah, yeah a mixture. Right. Okay, here here's an idea: a mixture of cyberpunk and a book I read, but actually it became a movie I think called Repo Man. Have you guys mm, heard of that series no. or movie or book? No. Chris has. Pretty old. It's basically a story about a world in which, and it seemed pretty realistic in my mind, where you get to a certain point where you can create artificial lungs, heart, mm. kidneys, okay. stuff like that. Sure. But I mean, these things are like $150,000, so right. people have to take out loans. Oh. And if you can't keep up on your loans, then they oh, need they to- take then they need to be repossessed. Ah, so that would happen. Yeah, and I think you've missed the payment on on your thirteen well, inch biocock. I don't think it necessarily. <laughs> that, I don't think it would happen by deactivating biocock. <laughs> you have to choose what you want to get removed: no! your, your lungs or your. I don't think it would happen necessarily by action of a repo man coming in and ripping out your heart, but I think maybe you by quarter order or, or one something lung like that. that. Like. <laughs> I also just don't think it would ever get, I think it would mostly be like an insurance based thing so it would probably end up right. getting paid off before it ever gets in your chest. Right. Because there's no way that a fucking it would, it court would never can work reasonably, like that. No. but it is a fun reality to think of where it's like, holy shit, that would suck. Yeah. If that's how they fucking did shit. Like, I mean, it's kind of damn. how insurance works now though, where it's like you're afraid to go get help for go, you. You're afraid yeah. to take an ambulance, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but oh, that's, yeah. You're afraid yeah, to yeah, that's you're, I remember in college my friend that yeah, hurt my omission of something, though, rather than it's like kind of the same idea, though. It's just like getting it and get having there. it removed forcibly. The deductible yeah. is is actually the the biocock. They just take, they just <laughs> <laughs> they rip it off. They take segments. Out of what, what, yeah. what would a biocock be, Schlatt? Like, what is that? Uh, uh, living, living, Terminator. yeah, like Terminator Two, living flesh over metal endoskeleton. Yeah, like a robot snake. 
Yeah. Oh my god. Living cock over metal. With an cock. end effect. <laughs> <laughs> Living cock over metal endoskeleton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you were like so confident, like it just like that flowed so well as you said it, like you've said it a hundred times. I like have. You, like you're a, like a biocock sales. Well, well, listen, that's what he says in the movie. He's living flesh over a metal endoskeleton. That's what the T one hundred. No one ever is. asked about his penis. No one ever. They asked never about explain his penis. it in the movie. No, no they he, never do. Oh, oh, we must have. One. Do you think Arnold Schwarzenegger can get hard? Can, can the Ter Terminator one hundred get get oh, hard? Yeah, well, Terminator one hundred versus the person Arnold. Like, yes, you need to make that well, yeah, the Terminator. We're talking to, about the Terminator, former governor of California. Go <laughs> well, he fucked his mate. He can get a hard. A bunch of like like segments <laughs> that then are connected via some like like pneumatics or cabling. That's how they do like tentacles, like animatronic tentacles. Is like same like, kind little, of thing. It's like like hockey pucks. So you'd want to be sort run. of full like pseudopod. Yeah, you know, like grab. Like, I mean, you could you could also that. like the way they the way they do it when you're uh when when you have ED. Sometimes I'll like put actual like balloons in and then you have what? like what? Yeah, there's like you... a little tiny pump inside of you that you have to like squeeze. That feels comical. That doesn't feel it's, real. It's one hundred percent No, real. that's not true. It's no, that's 100% not true. one hundred percent real. You know those you literally pump you like squeeze why a little bit. Why is pump. our producer nodding? <laughs> why is the producer of the podcast <laughs> why is, why is you he, get why is he no? what? <laughs> I don't know how you how you drain it though. I don't know how that works. Like if there's like a little valve, you just squeeze you it squeeze really it. hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. You know, it's it could be like one of those like you know when you see a planted tree like a little yeah. baby tree they yeah. tie a like a stick yeah. to it yeah. and they they <laughs> zip tie it to the they stick. They give you two popsicle so, thick sticks. And yeah. Zip tie. <laughs> <laughs> give you a dick splint and they charge you three hundred dollars. A dick splint. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and then they repossess it when you can't. <laughs> Give us your sticks nice. back. And the zip tie too. <laughs> Give me your biocock. <laughs> and it over. If you could make if you could make anything, yeah. what would it be? Oh god. Um I really want to take my uh my ninety eight Ford Tour station wagon and like jack it up and do like like four wheel drive like like make yeah. a monster truck? You like make a monster truck out of it. So, yeah. you, so you just want to make a monster truck. Yeah. I've got good news. Monster but, trucks exist. Out, no, <laughs> so. out of a sedan though. <clears throat> That is, sedan, that like is a, a wagon, yeah. So That'd it's be, like that's like sounds like it'd be pretty expensive. I know that's why that's like, why it's gonna be like ten grand. I would have plus. no idea how to do it either. I'd have to like. Well, I'm, yeah, you're gonna have to go to like a. You're gonna have to go find somebody to help. You're gonna have to go find Trevor from GTA Five. Yeah, have yeah. him yeah. hack it to pieces. Yeah. And also, once you know, you gotta make sure the mezzon say is there. Oh my you god! You gotta make sure the right, say. right. Like not even saying it right. Right, <laughs> and the Dutch <laughs> just, angle. Just so he just doesn't the understand. And the film grain. Put. Potato. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the potato. He just doesn't understand film. It's just, it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous. Okay, name, name, oh. name one <laughs> movie. It sounds like a pasta. <laughs> name one movie that doesn't have a potato Vignetti somewhere here. in it. I'll take the pesto a Vignetti. movie that doesn't have a potato somewhere in it? Yeah. Uh, hello, Paddington 2. There's not a single potato in Paddington 2? I could almost guarantee you think that it got in the that best 100%. movie of all time, Paddington 2, there's not a single potato. No way. I had a follow-up question. Is that yeah. like a thing? Is this is this something that uh, you've been obs you've observed? It's no, I just a, thought it'd be interesting to ask you movie shows. facts. What what movie? Facts? I have another fun question I can ask you. Unless you want to ask a question. Oh, you want to ask us yeah. a question? Oh, go ahead and ask us. I ask this uh, a lot. How many people? Okay. Have seen your penis? Is this That's like, like a, a deeply? It could be doctors. Oh. Mm. It could be. I don't really keep. I was gonna say I don't really keep track, but I stopped the sentence because it no, didn't you sound think. as Because it's like, good. you know, if you pee somewhere and your friend actually, like, you know, I feel like you can learn a lot about a person. More, I mean, more than I know? Or... Probably more I... than you know. Hmm. You think it's ten? Well, Schleck got an extra one here today when he did that flip earlier. I, yeah, I could probably count them on two hands. You think so? Yeah. Like going to the doctor or, you know, whatever. No. I mean, at least you have different, like, doctors. I mean, pretty much until I was out of college, I had the same, I had, like, a pediatrician all the way through college. Like, it's only one doctor? Yeah, no, I had the same doctor really? I was when like I was a, a kid, all the way through college, because it was just easier. You don't need to get like because awesome, I man. I moved out here, yeah. so it's like. Do you think like man, less than ten I'm people? Killing it today. Um, I don't know. I mean, I I'll, I'll give you a tally later. How's that? Okay. <laughs> I'll give you why? A tally why is it like a hundred? It's up. And it's in the thousands. <laughs> 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 it's up there. It's it's huge. It's a very large number. I mean, I mean, if we if we if we count the uh, the billboard incident of two thousand five. <laughs> How do you accidentally? Never mind. <laughs> so even like hypothetically, how you would accidentally? He just sent a picture to the wrong email address. Yeah, but... no, yeah when I was seven. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Christ. Um, okay. 
All right. Um, <laughs> Whoops. Well, I chose a, I chose a date, and I happened to choose when I was seven. I had so, else. <laughs> Willie, okay, I had one more question, like okay. a, a big question. Not no no cock involved. Okay, okay. Uh, cock's fully out. Right. Um, what are you most excited to sort of see in terms of engineering, in terms of development, in the next few years or even past your lifetime? Oh, I really want to see what the, to you the most? full self-driving. Yeah, we don't do those very much. My Tesla drove here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I rented Tesla every time I'm in you LA. Auto drive? Yeah, like the full, the full version Big of it. Yeah. Auto drive. So, so just being able to get in the pod and scoot. Yeah, they just released the the first wave, or I think the first wave of the current beta right now. So there's people who, like a handful of people, who can like literally just get in their car, park <laughs> on the street. And tell yeah. it where to go, and it'll do like everything. Because right now it'll only do like the freeways and stuff. I feel so like you... it's sort of an asshole, though. What do you mean? The driving. But if they're all, if, they, if everything I've, is I've auto drive, this guy on TikTok that kind of shows. But this is this is the thing where like it gets better and better and better. So it's like if you like mm. someone who saw like someone like my dad who was like, oh, I, I saw some, like my friend's Tesla like in 2016, and it did a bad job. It's like they don't understand how much it's improved. Right, it's an evolving and, right. Sort of thing. There's like a whole team of people. Like I mean, it's it's, it's a ton of people that work on it. Every I'm sure it's taking day. all the data from everything everyone's doing. Everything. Yeah. Well, Google's doing that too. Whenever you fill out a captcha. Yeah. Yeah. And Google Maps. Have you seen that shot? No. That's why whenever, you whenever you, the whenever lights. you find the traffic cone, find the traffic light, oh, show the storefront. Yeah. That's just Google oh, gathering now information. Now your Tesla on what knows how to a... find the traffic cone. I had this idea. Uh -oh. The Tesla has a lot of cameras on it. Yeah. It it can tell when you break the law. I thought we were in, gonna like, yeah steal it earlier. Well, yeah, it goes over the speed limit too. Yeah, the Tesla can go over. You're driving it though. You're driving it. Yeah. What if it sees you do something really heinous? Well, if it and, was self-driving cars, I guess it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Right, but right now it has. A, but right now you drive the thing. Yeah. Right. Say you blow a red light because right. I know the Tesla beeps. I'm crying again. Right. I don't when know why. When the Tesla beeps, it's very emotional. Episode. You're ready to go. Yeah. Oh my god, man. Think about onions. What if the Tesla? Saw you blow a red light and then it just stopped and locked all the doors and, 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 and lit, it, and lit itself on fire. <laughs> the Turns on auto drive, just goes to the station. <laughs> <laughs> Can you? Oh my God. Seriously, what would stop it? It like, should have. It should have. Drives you right uh, to jail. <laughs> <laughs> my, my guess right now, the window rolls down, just ejects should, you out into a cell. It should have bad. multiple modes. Like it should. It should be like uh, goody two shoes. I'm feeling a real, little risky and like break all the laws. Right. Yeah, that's the thing about like I, I feel like part of buying a car though or having a car right. is I mean, cars... having the control and, and stuff. Yeah. So I and I think for a lot of people, especially like older people, are not about the self-driving mm. car because they they're like... the ones who probably should use it though. I mean, when <laughs> that's it works that, well. okay. Very well, like the, the older older too, people. Yeah, I mean every but car like you buy. They like that tactile. Yeah, you, you I can agree. still drive it though. Every car you buy, oh, it saying... goes up to like a hundred, like hundred twenty plus miles yeah. per hour. I mean, depending on how. Some have nice. governors, but even the governor will let you go like 150. Well, and sometimes. I guess in a perfect world, even the self governor cars, will. They all be self-driving. Like if there's a cat, like an electronic governor that, like, it's just software that says you can't go faster than this. Go Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh yeah, they have Arnold those in, like, the in my car? cars. No, like some production cars have it down. Too. Tesla Biocar. Yeah, it, like literally. I'm, I mean, this was a long time ago, but my friend in high school, his car it was it was his mom's car. Uh, wouldn't go like above 110 or 115 or something like that. But it had a speedometer. It was to scared. Go higher. Yeah. No, it would. You the car would get up to that, and then it would just like it literally wouldn't go past that, and you could hear it like restricting oh, it. Yeah. I've never seen that. I've never heard of that before. What? Yeah. It was like one of those weird like Honda trucks. I what think. If that had, like, to, what if it needs to arrest you really fast and take you to jail? Uh, yeah, you just, yeah, you can just do that. We're just driving to the ocean and my, like you, execute you right then. And yeah, there. exactly. <laughs> my buddy's truck that he drew, drove in high school. If he ever went, if it was like a big GMC truck, like a, for his his dad's landscaping company, and if he ever went past, a, if he ever got up to like a hundred miles per hour, or like or like a hundred and ten or something like that, apparently like the engine shuts off, which what? is very safe. The engine? Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. So that doesn't that it doesn't sound like a down. feature. Yeah, that was that a feature like a or a bug? That sounds like it could have maybe a little bit of both. <laughs> it is on. a bug. There's actually a little cockroach. Because you would you would lose power steering. There's and a everything. little bug in there that says you're going too fast for my liking, and then <laughs> if, you're, if like, your engine shut off, one of my buddies against together, the windshield. <laughs> you, you would a lose cartoon Looney Tunes bug. Are you sure this actually happens? You would lose power steering. That would be really bad. Hey man, you'd lose power steering. I have a feeling this would be a fun fact you'd discover exactly once. Right, and then you die. Yeah. Um, it's a legend that I hear, or maybe it was just something his dad told him, so he wouldn't fucking drive a hundred miles per hour. True. You can incriminate yourself. Maybe. What's the fastest you've ever driven in a car? What? What's the fastest you've ever driven in a car? Well, you one time. Incriminate yourself right so now? one time I was. Um, is this? Is this? Well, Ian. No, it's is, too late. <laughs> um, is this? Uh, 
legally binding. Well, yeah, this is legally binding. So this is a story. It's on the internet so this is a story of a fictitious nature. Right, right. All right. Yeah. This is in a movie, in a video game, if I think you will. This was an elf. Um, this was an elf. So one time, I personally, Ted Nivison was on a road trip, and and this isn't a movie. Um, <laughs> was on a road trip with the, that same friend, and we were in North Dakota, and I decided this was the perfect place to see if that beautiful Toyota Tacoma could go more than a hundred miles an hour. Um, so I went more than a hundred miles definitely per, could, yeah. per hour in that like truck, an and stretch. that thing gets shaky yeah. when you go fast like that. Like, can Weird. you imagine like, the it's, truck that you were it's in? It's rough at twenty. So <laughs> if, if you were in that imagine. truck, and that imagine you guys were both in that truck at one point. Oh, or yeah. Another. You imagine that thing going a hundred miles an hour? No. Yeah, it was fast. Uh, we going Only fast. if it's How falling. There's no other way. <laughs> yeah. So basically, the one reason why I remember that is it were, we're like, there's just like cows on the left side, right side, and it's just like fucking open fields, North Dakota. Um, but then we see some birds, and I'm going 100 miles an hour. So I'm like, like exactly? I hope these birds notice that I'm going very fast. And the birds start to take off, but I'm going so fast. So like two of these birds hit the windshield, oh. and I see in the rear view <laughs> mirror like them oh. just like... Falling to the ground in the background, and I'm like, "Holy shit!" Because no, not right. most of the time in my experience, the birds are fast enough to get away when you're driving. You don't really yeah. worry right. about, right. "Oh, a bird's not gonna get away." Right, by. right. So, did you take them? What did you? The birds. Did you stop and go get the? <laughs> the <birds? laughs> did you, did you go? Get, did you what go birds? Get, that you killed? Did you go get them? Well, that's that's awful. What birds? It's a terrible story. Oh, right, the movie. The movie. So in Elf, was... Santa Claus doesn't go get the birds after right, he hits yeah, them with no, Rudolph. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but um, that was so that was my experience going a hundred. Well, that's that's fucking awful. The other uh, the other time that I wow. went a hundred was in New Mexico because the thing about New Mexico is that it has like 80, 80 mile per hour or eighty five or something like that. You just speed round limit. it mm. up, and like there's also a general rule of thumb that it's like if it's eighty. Then you can pretty much go ninety, yeah. Yeah. and if you can, do and then 90, like if you can do well ninety, it's like twenty over. Yeah, like, so I see the really, It's not like this. Actually, is yeah, 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 it's no, pretty this makes sense. So, this makes sense. I mean, in a movie though, yeah. I would do that in New Mexico. This is all in I the movie. I couldn't believe that Elf's bad. It's yeah, so fucked His up. name is Buddy, not, not but Will Ferrell. Buddy. Oh right, they don't call him. Elf. Don't call yeah. him Elf. Hey Elf, Elf, where are you? Why are you driving so fast? So my name is Elf. About a month ago. Uh, I rented a Lamborghini in um, GTA 5, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and so I, you know, the thing about Lamborghinis is that everybody wants to race you, right? And there's this guy in a motorcycle. And every cop wants to pull you over. Yeah, and then we and then we were going like 120, uh, in, in GTA 5. In GTA 5, yeah. you know, maybe a little fast, maybe faster than that. Right, somewhere um, like less than 200 though. Under 200, definitely. But more than 100. But more, Surely. it was in between. Um, and I was feeling the wind against my character. <laughs> um, just, and you know, against your character. And then I, <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, GTA right. GTA 5. Right, of course. And then I was pulled, I, my character got uh, arrested later for going 56 and a 45 while in the Lamborghini. And I was just like, Dude, this oh, is man. funny too. Because, your character like, because you've also made a video where you presented this as fact. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, that part was fact. Oh no, he he did this in real life and then proceeded to do it in GTA. Yeah, I was. Re I recreated, to recreate yeah. it. So I recreated the again. fast part. Right. Yeah. The, it didn't have. I created the fast part. I recreated the the arrested. Oh, part. okay. It was so funny that I just get pulled over for going eleven miles yeah. per hour over. I was, was following traffic. Right. No, I was following traffic. There was a car like twenty feet in just front of me. A car directly to my right. And the car, the, the cop pulls me over, and he's like, "Hey, first thing he says is, hey, what car is that?'" And I'm like, "It's a oh Lamborghini Gallardo, sir. Yeah. Are you going to give me a ticket?" And he, yeah, and he gives me a ticket. Fun. You didn't. You didn't I had to go to like uh, like driver you don't school. Argue with cops? You did? Yeah. Are you fucking crazy? Yeah. I had to go to traffic court and then driver wow. school for something. for, for I, uh, running over children. No, no, that was later. <laughs> um, no, I uh, I was getting bagels for my Spanish class in high school. Yeah. And I had them on the side of my seat, and I was turning around a corner, and all the bagels fell out, and I yeah. went down to grab them, and immediately rear-ended someone. Ah, um, oh, and it was and I worth, no no. Did you even save the bagels? I did actually. I okay, did save well, the bagels, okay, yeah, which was good. really good. That's they didn't even hit the ground. That's uh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but I hit the car. Um, yeah, and then the guy in front, like I I got out right away because this has never happened to me before, and I was like, "Hey, are you okay?" And he was like, "Yeah, like everything's fine." I'm like, "Okay, I just wanted to make sure." Like my car was 
damaged. His wasn't. So I was like, right. okay, cool. Second cop comes around. He goes, oh, my back. And I'm like, oh, you've got to be you kidding me. Fucking, yeah, that's, that's right? awesome. That's I'm awesome. Like, how am I going to get the bagel? The second like, the cop fun. comes around? Yes. Like, I actually had a similar thing happen. Unless, is your story over, though? No, the bagels are pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, I went to, I, I went to court, and then they, like, I was, like, a kid, so it was, right. like, rough. Right. And then I had to go how to driver's school. I was, like... 15 or something. Oh, like, that right when you sucks. So you yeah. must have been like, you must have been like. I don't think I had a license. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was terrifying. Wait, yeah. you didn't have a license? I had like a permit or something. A learner's oh, permit? Were you no. with somebody else? No, wait, maybe it was a license. Yeah, you're probably, you're probably 16. I didn't, I didn't, yeah, I, I must have been 16. Yeah, yeah. you would have gone to um, jail. Yeah, no, but I, I went to like a traffic school thing and it was a bunch of people like. So just like before someone comes in to do all like the lessons and shit. I barely remember. Why did they make you go to traffic court for an accident? Uh. I don't know. Maybe because you're you're young. Maybe I don't know. maybe because you're. I got a ticket. A I got a date, scene. and then I I went. And after that, they hmm. said uh, like we're not going to charge you anything. It's not going to go on your record, but you got to go to this class. And I went yeah. in, and it's a bunch of people saying I don't think the speed limit should exist. And they're all like in the oh. fucking the <laughs> driver's school. So I'm like clearly, yeah. clearly you did not I, learn anything from. Like, what a, are you in for? <laughs> I had a thing where I rear-ended somebody, and it was a, it was a similar thing where it was like just in traffic and I like dink someone from behind yeah. and then later on like a, like the insurance calls me and they're like oh yeah this person's saying that they got like whiplash it didn't become anything but it's just like it's all, it always just that's sucks always, too that's always what there's happens, like yeah my man. neck was hurting a little bit after you did that I, I had whatever. a I mean it's like some poor you, fucking kid on the here's other the end. thing about the uh, the Tacoma though and I love talking about the Tacoma but I've been rear-ended three, three times in my happens. experience with the Tacoma really? and every single time the Tacoma has absolutely obliterated the car hitch? that rear-ended me. You have a hitch. Uh, you, can you put a trailer on the back? Yeah. 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 Oh, so it's like, uh, is there like a yeah, frame? There's like a frame. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah. Right through the so, radiator of every like sedan that drives underneath so you. So basically, it was, it was just, I've actually got rear-ended twice in this almost the same exact spot in my hometown. But every time, it's like someone will hit me pretty pretty hard. And you can kind of like tell in the rear view mirror. And I'm like, oh, here we go again. Um <laughs> But so much. it's here like, we go again. It, I don't know. I, I don't really stop. <laughs> here, we go, here we go again. He says as he slams yeah. on his brake. Yeah, exactly. Well, I don't I don't necessarily stop very, very fast at all. It's like, um, so but basically the the back bumper of the truck, it like gets like a dent in it. Mm. And then like this one Prius was like totally the whole front was like crumpled. Jesus airbag Christ. was like fucking deployed. I think actually I don't think the airbag was deployed in that circumstance. But it got stuck under the truck, and they had to get like a guy to pull it off. Yeah, sounds like maybe we should Uber back to the B and B. Very, very <laughs> funny. Yeah. Very, very funny. Yeah, yeah. You silly goose, Charlie. Well, I mean, there, there's always questions like that, you know. Um, when you rent a car, they want to make sure you're all insured and stuff, and so right. they'll ask, you know, all that, all that yeah. funny stuff. And uh, I, I rent the Tesla uh, every time I'm down here. And it was a funny thing. Where do you rent a Tesla from? Uh, on Turo. Turo, yeah. Turo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And my boy, uh, Angel, that I re rented this one from, he said he asked me a very funny question. I'm going to relay on to you now, yeah. William. He asked me, would you rather have uh, oh. unlimited bacon? <laughs> yeah. But no more video games. Okay. And here comes the kicker. Or and would you rather have games? <laughs> unlimited games. Yeah, but no games, no <laughs> games, but, but no, no games. games. So unlimited games, but no games, or unlimited yeah. bacon and no games. So unlimited games, unlimited. No, 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 no. Unlimited bacon, no bacon, but no more games. Where's no the no more games? So unlimited. So you get unlimited bacon. How much? Unlimited, unlimited, unlimited amounts of it. And but it, you but you get no more games. Okay, but I. But then so it, the opposite end of the is unlimited unlimited games. Would you rather have games? games unlimited games. Yeah, the, as many as you want. Yeah. But, no games. I think that one, yeah. You want that yeah. one? Yeah. What kind of motivates that? I feel like uh, it's just I spend too much time playing games. And how much time do you spend playing bacon? Not, no, I mean, not even. Quite, what was this, and the question was. Would, uh, it was, would you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, I have unlimited bacon, but no more games. Or unlimited or bacon. Ga no, no, no. Games. Games. Unlimited games. Unlimited but games. No, and you'd say, you'd, you'd think like, okay, well now it's going to be no game. No well, making, in an ideal but, but world it, that you it, would have games and no games. But in an yeah, ideal no world, games. there are no games. Make the games go away. I like the games then I can do more. Sort of then I, you can make more content. So then, but, so then you should take the bacon. Between but you don't get bacon no if all the games go away. And if the games go away, then you can make more videos and then you can be happy. 
But I because don't making make videos, videos is what makes yeah. people yeah. happy. Because then, so what? So what is it? Um, we get rid of. Big Our games. producer Borough has a uh, PTSD in his eyes right now. He's like, what? <laughs> he's like, what is this trash? <laughs> a couple people will will understand. He's laughing because yeah, he's getting, people he's getting Borf blasted yeah, right now. Yeah. He can go fuck himself. Slad <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, had a major fan moment. Yes. Yeah, that. dude. We walked into the studio and this guy, he shakes my hand. He's like, hey, I'm Chris. And I'm like, hey, man. And then I'm like, I know this. I know this fucker from somewhere. This fucker? I know this fuck. He is your elder. He is my you elder. He's very him. old. No, he's Turns not out a, a lot of this come together. Turns out a decade ago. He set up this whole situation mm -hmm. for us. Turns out a decade ago, this guy Borif was on Machinima Respawn, basically where my entire personality comes from, from Sark and APL and C Nanners and Hutch. And this guy was on the on the goddamn show I watched all the time. Dude, you're on the New Year's Eve episode. Yeah. Wait, is it Borif? He's saying yes. That uh, yeah. Listen, seeing you had me buzzing like a mink whale. You know? I mean, what? He's that? laughing at that. See, now he's using uh, words. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quick, get on that. Get on that. <laughs> that look up. Mink whale? <laughs> buzzing like a, like a mink whale. It actually whale. looks like we are all buzzing like a mink whale right now. We are now. all buzzing right now. We're all buzzing. William, it was fantastic. Thank you. It was so yeah. great. Thank Thank so great. So it was like a roller coaster. We started well, off. Well, hold on. And then we talked about existential stuff. And then it went back down. <laughs> so for the first time ever, we can steal a little thing from from hot ones and do what we do usually at the end of the guest episodes because we've got that camera. Oh yeah, that camera. What do they do? Camera, and, 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 and that camera. camera. And this camera. Over what there. They, what do they do at hot? Um, what do you got going on? We'll Something roll out about the red carpet Evans for you. Rolling out the red carpet, yeah. what have you? Oh my god! What's the uh, maison say looking like? My maison say is, yeah. is <laughs> red hot. The, I mean, honestly, Asshole. the only thing normally I just like would say subscribe to Chuckle Sandwich, but we did actually start my own podcast. Yeah, you started your own podcast, a science podcast, but it's not science at all. Yeah, it's with it's, a bunch of nerds who uh, yeah. probably I think I've played Call of yeah. Warzone with every single one of yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Who's on it? Who's and on and Ted is by far the best Warzone player. Yeah, no. It's, it's, like, uh, by the way, before we end the podcast, I got to talk about William. <laughs> William <laughs> what no, I said, no. just gave him the red carpet. I know, I know, but I just got to talk about William on Warzone. Now, He's a now fucking red. menace. He's it's, a fucking menace. It's me, Yo, William Osmond. This dude, this now dude red. Is like, this dude is like your fucking. <laughs> Hearing your older brother in the shitty basement the backyard downstairs, scientist. like you hear him and he's like, oh, who, else, who else is what? on the podcast? How was he there? It's where did he come no, from? Keep, yeah, keep, oh my keep god, going, I was I the had podcast him. It's called Safety Third, it's science based. It's uh, William Osman, Niall Red, the backyard uh, scientist, Alan Pan, Peter Sreeple, and uh, maybe some other scientists. Dude, yeah. Safety Third is such a fun name. It's I like name. that a lot. We should, like we should that try that. that. We should have that. We should make that. We get a new neon sign here. Have you guys have you guys, have you guys launched it? Have you done? Yeah, yeah. So have you Thanks. filed for like trademarks or anything? Yeah, do you have all that stuff. Yeah, we did. That. You have? Oh, damn. Okay. You know what we? Uh, hey, <laughs> hey, Ian, pull together. Pull together. Honestly, Ian, like, Ian's check a, that out. Ian's falling behind on a couple fronts. There was a podcast that was like just ended that was called Safety Third. So I'm like, someone probably had. Yeah, I just don't care. Like, any other any other projects you got going on? Stuff you want people to check out? Where can people find you as well? Why are you talking? You're talking so fast. You're you're scaring me. Your brain's moving. Did you just search Safety Third? Advanced. Other than that, just I don't know. Who cares? Who cares? Search William Osmond. Search William Osmond. I've no. We've never had a guest who we've said, "Tell us like where they can find you," and you just say, "Who cares?" Like. Cares, I did, nobody watches videos unless they get recommended them anyways. Yeah, it's true. you'll find me if I want you to find me. Right. <laughs> he's youthful. He's like youthful. I, I mean, he just he, he just turned thirty. Thank and you. And he's looking. To be honest, he's looking twenty five. Low stress. He's job. absolutely yep. looking yep. twenty five. Low stress job. I eat nothing but fast food. It's just like the fats kind of help you. Mm. Your skin's yeah. Yeah. He's looking fit. He's looking fresh. Thank you. Nice hair. William Osmond. Thank you. Fist pants. Thank you. Ladies this is super and gentlemen, this on is the Chuckle flat. Sandwich Podcast, the first episode of Chuckle Week. We were so lucky to have him here today. Thank yeah. you for coming on. Thank you for having me on for Sandwich Week. We should do it. Can we like all look like All right. Yeah. And then zoom out or something. And then zoom out and, and I'll throw, show and I'll the, throw yeah. the yeah. water yeah. on the flat. And show the, uh, no. No. Show the seams. So show the seams of it all so you can see like the... the oh, seams. I'm on top you of you were never able to see. I just, oh, okay. Show yeah. the stuff like piled down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Show, all the stuff. show the picture of the chicken soup, Andrew. Oh, wow. Look oh, at that. I like this one. Everyone give I it up. I like that one. Give it up for her. All right. Chuckle week.
Check out Subway. Thanks, new, thanks new for zesty showing up, folks. <laughs> the new bacon, bacon, bacon ranch. Bacon, baconator. Thank <laughs> thanks for coming by. The folks. bio cock baconator. Check it out. <laughs> All right. Peace out. With extra cock. <laughs> Four for you later.